right? Welcome to the black film. <laughs> yeah, wait, you ever fuck? You ever fucking just do something horrible to your girl, and afterwards you just go, oh, my God, what I... Like, during shit, you're like, eh, you know, and then afterwards you're like, oh, my God, what did I... You, like, you get nervous, like, you go, oh, my... Oh, should we go to the hospital? I gave my girl's tongue a hickey, like, it bust a, a blood vessel in her tongue is there. I we was sucking on it, because we had a good... I, we have good fuck sessions when, when she... When I buy her something... Like, when I don't like her is when we fuck the best. Like, when I really, when she makes me sick, you know what I mean? And it's like, we haven't fucked. It's like, say we haven't fucked for like two weeks, right? And then after the second week, then I go, okay, I buy her something. Like, say she was on a period, and then we didn't fuck for whatever reason. Then I, like, buy her, like, a fucking, you know, a couple of shoes or something, some clothes and shit. And then I, like, you bitch. Like, I look at her like, you fucking then you're angry. bitch. That's exactly, right. Kind and of- then... You know, sex. and it's, you know, when when they're happy, you know that happy look they have when you buy them something like that appreciative yeah, look, and, it, and you go, don't don't thank me, bitch, for your, don't thank me. What the fuck are you looking at? Come here, yeah, just and you just want to fuck. You know, how do you how do you even how do you, wait, let me ask you something, Kathleen? How do you relate to that? Have you ever bought a man something enough, something so expensive? No, that you that you actually like were mad about it that you bought it. But you wanted to buy it, but you was angry that you fucking bought it. I don't think so, no. Never anything that, so how can you that relate? made me mad. You don't relate. You just kind of... I can relate to angry sex, definitely. But not because I bought somebody something. That doesn't make me mad. Hold on. Let me introduce the show for a second, and then I'm going to goddamn get to you and your horse shit. Hi, Puddin'. My girl's sitting in here in the <laughs> studio, by the way. With, with her in And Kathleen talk. was like, that's, the Kathleen goes... Is, 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 is that your, that's your girlfriend? That's, 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 yeah, go, I know. She's, she's, like, she's, 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 she She's very, uh, you know, advanced in the fuck department. Oh, well, that that's good. I can want that's to hear. I, I would like. What would you do in, the, in terms of a threesome? Oh, I'm gonna get to that. Hold on, Kathy. <laughs> I like to know what the fuck y- your part in a threesome would be. Um, listen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Black Phillips Show with Patrice O'Neill, Kathleen Rowe, and Dante Nero is a little late. Traffic in, in in New York and fucking rain. I'm 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 winding down because I was like on it's the way fun. here to like you know I was on the way here through the fucking rain through the fucking Arab cab drivers through the shitty livery cabs so I'm like all angry and I got to settle down and get into like Black Phillip mode but welcome to the show uh, and those who've never listened before it's um it's a it's a relationship show but let me explain what the relationship part is it's not to say hey man you should it's not to save relationships it's to it's to dig deep into the the original we're trying to go all the way back to where relationships began and fix it from there we're trying to fix it from the the sphinx or not the not the sphinx not the asshole <laughs> we're trying to the fix it sphincter the, not, we're not trying to not fix it and fix it from the sphincter we're trying to go all the way back to when it began so that we could recondition like mostly recondition bitches but in there we're trying to help guys also, we're trying to help guys to teach their women how to fucking have another option, another way to think, another uh, another uh, uh, direction to go into. So this show is not to go, hey, maybe y'all should go out to the movies and maybe, no, none of that shit. All right, so welcome to the show. Um, Kathleen Roll, of course, my co-host. Uh, Dante Nero is, is a little late, but he'll fucking... Probably on his way. You took a cab from Jersey? No. Oh. Okay. What was I going to say? I said something, something I wanted to say about the show, too. I forgot. Anyway, um, well. The angry sex. Angry sex. Fuck angry sex. I want to know, have you ever done a threesome? By the way, phone lines, <laughs> if you want to call in, uh, you know, whatever. It's one eight six six wow one wow Is that the correct number? 866 wow one wow And uh, I don't have the number in front of me to tell you what the numbers are, because I know a lot of you motherfuckers are retarded, but... I'll give you the number soon. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here. If you're in New York City, this is a good night to sit there and, and, and listen. It's a rainy night. 
Um, fellas, I know you. this is a good night. You canceled that bullshit date that you wanted to go out with on your girl because she's like, we never go anywhere and we don't do nothing. And then you, you're like, oh, my God, thank God it fucking rains. So you can go, sweetie, your hair is nice. You don't want to go out in the rain like that. Blah, 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 blah. This is my, this is my shitty attempt to, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dante is um Dante needs somebody to go get him. Okay. 866-969-1969. That's 866-969-1969. So let me ask you something, Kathleen. Okay. All right. Let me yeah. ask you something. What would Have you ever had a threesome first of all? I have never had a threesome. All right. No. What would you think? And this is this is the woman's a woman's thought on what a threesome would be that never had one. All right. Mm -hmm. What do you think that your role would be in a threesome? Okay, ready? For two, in two ways. One, the other bitch. Like yeah. you're not you're not the girlfriend. Okay, if I was the other woman. And um, second, if you was the woman. So first focus on if you was the wasn't the girl, if you was the side bitch coming in to fuck a couple. I would assume if you were the secondary player, you would not, the guy would not penetrate you. You would uh, have sex with the woman, possibly oral. Like, you would be there to be with the woman, and the guy would like it, would like the visual thing, and the woman probably would like your oral skills. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, like... <laughs> If you were the, that's, well, I'm answering your this question. This is a why, this, why? Logistically, that's what I let's, would assume. Let's, let's, what would you do if you was just, okay, me and my girl was fucking, right? Right, And we just right. decided we're going to fuck on this table. What would you do to I, join I in? Would, what would you do? I wouldn't, I don't think I'd join in. I'd watch. No, you was, definitely first of all, hypothetical, welcome, first of all, Dante, what's up, man? Hey, Dante, Dante, is it well, traffic and all that bullshit? Yeah. It's goofy, right? right? All right, Dante Nero, my my other co-host is here today. And, and oh, how you doing, pumpkin? Fucking, <laughs> fucking E-Rock came in. All like, with that desperate look like, oh shit, it's going to fall apart, I'm late. Nobody needs you, you fathead. But I don't want to say that to you because they abuse you all day on the fucking show. So I'm, I'm glad you're here, nigga. Thank you. Is, wind down, please. Wind, we're all winding down. So wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm talking hypothetically. Hypothetically. What if you had to join in? What's the first thing you would do? If think I as had to Think as in. nasty as you can. Um... Start making out with me first. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd make out with Dante. I... Listen. Listen to me. How... What would you do if you had to be in a fucking threesome? I would assume if you're with your girlfriend... Stop assuming, other, Kathleen. Right. Listen, stop assuming. No assuming. You are... Okay. In time and space, you are you, you are definitely in this threesome. You are... you are. It's any up time, bitch. You are ready. You gotta fuck. You gotta be in this mix. Okay, I, what would you do? What would you do? So I absolutely have to do. Yes. That. Like I have a gun. Do you to see my head. why? Do you see why guys don't like you? And I don't mean you, Kathleen. I mean bitches, cause you fucking don't know how to have fun with a hypothetical question. Oh, okay. You're like, now nah, you're saying, I well, basically I'm being raped in this hypothetical yeah, thing because I, I don't want to. Right, and they right. Don't. Let's okay, assume well, in... that you want to. Let's assume. That you fucking are going to. Let's assume that this is going down under your complete and utter fucking. You you condone it. Okay, okay fine. Okay, fine. Patrice. What would you do? I would go for her. I I'm I'm just. This is another That's assumption. Just say I think it. she smells better than you. Probably, maybe. Well, why would you think that? I don't know. To it's fat? just. <laughs> well, because I'm a guy. Guys, women smell better yeah, than that. Yeah, right. Because I'm unfamiliar with both of you. Right. But just, How I would like, that would How unfucking fun favorite. are you? Can you just pretend AIDS doesn't exist either? Can you just, <laughs> what would you do? What would you do? Would you do anything? What do you want me to say? I want like, you to just get into... Breast, you want, you Whoa, want, like, yeah, there you go. There you language. go. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um... Who knows? I'd fondle her breasts. Is that what you want me to say? Fondle? You know what my girl would do if you fondled her? <laughs> <laughs> she would knee you in, your, okay, in the I'd bridge of your her, fucking nose. I, I'd pull her hair and sit on her face. How's that? That would be pretty good. <laughs> but now we got to figure out how do you smell. Because I got, I got money that Kathleen's pussy looks like 
<laughs> like a like 70. A, a, <laughs> <laughs> Woodstock. I, I can't imagine that My you shave pussy your pussy. My is, uh, I trim I guarantee and it's spring hairy. fresh. It's spring fresh. Well, of course it's because Why would you have pussy a, be hairy? I'm not I just, hairy. You just, you just seem like you would have a hairy pussy. To like me. I'd be, uh, you like know, you, just like kind you, of natural. Yeah, like shaved. you would just go, why, why? That, like, you read a, like you read a book about shaving. It's like, you know, when you shave, you get a thing called, you know, labiitis. Well, so the my, my, opposite my, 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 is true. It's better to not, it's better to shave for cleanliness. Like mm-hmm. that's when they operate, they shave you. Mm-hmm. Hair carries dirt. So. Oh, really? So, well, so yeah. it's, it's, it's trimmed mm. up. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Oh, I bet you fucking Kathleen is the worst ever. <laughs> it's I hot. just can't imagine that it could be possibly <sighs> I- I- interesting. I-, I just, I swear to goodness. Would you do my You'd girl? be surprised. Fucking no, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you no, the fuck. I wouldn't you be wouldn't. surprised. Yeah, I can't. Well, I can't imagine you. I, I imagine you, Patrice, like you just grunt a few times in the neck. Like I could. Ugh. I does can't it, imagine you doing now anything. Now, let me see. Does that, a bitch like, that looks like her, right? Now, my girl's in the studio for people who just are not listening. Yeah. Now, you think a bitch that looks like that would just be. She's really hot. Would, yeah. would really like the, a motherfucker to be grunting on top of him? I, I don't think that she would but i it's probably not that's not what attracts you to her attracts it's, yeah it is actually her to you yeah it is sexually that believe you're it. Hot I, in I, bed? I am, I am no, the sexual object not. in the relationship really as the bitch she's sitting right in front of you uh, i could yeah right <laughs> i right now i'm not even gonna ask her i could look at her face and know that that's not true she's looking at you like she wants to fuck you up for saying what you're saying <laughs> You are the dumbest smart bitch I've oh. ever <laughs> fucking heard. You're you're the sexier than she is. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I no. I know more about fucking than she knows okay. about fucking. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so the fact that I know more about fucking than her really? means that I'm gonna be the sexier one because she's she's not gonna introduce anything to me. I'm gonna introduce any, something to her. Yeah. You understand? Like. I yeah. do understand. Physically, she beats me in, in, the 95 times out of 95 and a half. You know, unless I'm in some fucking cold <laughs> country where, you know, fat people are deemed. <laughs> like I'm, uh, like you're like, unga, bunga, like the golden cow. The fat bunga, ga, ga. <laughs> <laughs> You are sexy. Yeah, but you're in she, a gay bar in but, India. But, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you was to give me some pussy, you you would then know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you was to give me some pussy... I would see you. you, you it's not about good. It's just be about, like... Because you'll go... Filth. I, it's, it's about filth. Like, you are a person that I, I know that... And, and there's a lot of women like that who, who, would, who would be, like... She needs direction. She wants... She likes to... Kathleen likes a man. Somebody who's going to direct the you flow think of... So. Absolutely. First yeah. of all, all First women, of all, all that's, women, that's, 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 that's redundant. all women like that. They that's just redundant. don't know. Because you're going to be the they type of chick that's going to go, ah, well, I don't like that, and I don't, well, I don't your, like this, and mouth. I don't want to do that, and I don't want to. It's I, like, you, don't pull my hair. Surprised. I won't be I, surprised. You're, you're, I, the the reason why I think she said Kathleen, are you filthy? Because your, your perceptions are just way off. Are you filthy? Are you fucking insane? Kathleen, you filthy? No, she's not. No. That's no. what. So automatically, that says you're bad you're in bed. Yeah. Well, how are you, you filthy? Or so you, what, you wait a minute, Dante. Wait a minute. What would anybody be surprised with if if you're saying that you're a prude in bed and you're not filthy? What am I going to be surprised that you're going to do? What are you going to give me a uh, you know a great I, spot where I massages? Did, I, I did see. not say I was ice a in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Peppermint. I did not say a I was mentos a prude in my bed. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're goofy. Hold up, hold on. Wait a minute. We're gonna talk to Smitty real quick. It's Smitty. Yeah, what's up? Um, what's going on? About, like, with Kathleen and all, I was uh, yeah. remembering the first time I had sex with my wife, and uh, my friend and I thought about having a three-way. You know, my wife is in town and whatnot, and uh, we get that back to the house. We have a couple of drinks. We get down to it. This, that, the other thing. The girls eat my wife's pussy or future wife's pussy. Mm. Suck my dick. Mm. Go to go have at it. Girls Tasty. got a fucking outbreak of herpes. Who got an outbreak of herpes? The, uh, the uh, friend, not my future wife. 
You, wait, well, so, I, I was curious. I was curious if maybe Kathleen had a little herpes outbreak. That's why she wouldn't want penetration. Oh, wait a minute! I didn't, I'm I wait a minute. Wait. You lost who, weight. Who I had the outbreak? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. What? Who got uh, the outbreak? I had a friend, and then uh, so we met my wife. Guy right? or girl? Uh, a girl. Okay. There was two girls. Oh wait, so. hold up, hold up, Schmidt. Let me, Schmidt. Let me explain something to anybody who's listening. All right, when you when you say threesome, understand that the, a threesome is two girls and a guy. You have to be guy. very specific. A yeah, a girls, train a guy, is bad. two guys <laughs> and a girl. You understand? So okay. never never forget that terminology. So so we won't have to ask anybody when they say threesome or menage a trois. That's two, two girls. girls and one guy, or or more girls than a well, then it's an orgy. But two guys and a girl is a train. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So who had the herpes? The girl. The friend. The, the girl. She had an the outbreak friend. of herpes. Yes. And she, I'm like, hey, let's, uh, I'm like, let's have, uh, let's have fun with this this new girl over here. And she's like, all right. So we get back. She's licking uh, my future wife's pussy. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're getting into it. I'm fucking throwing some porn on, porn on for them, you know, getting them in the mood, you know. I'm like, all right, let them do, you know, let them lick a little pussy and stuff like that. Okay. So uh, then eventually, you know, I freaking whip my cock out, stick in my future wife's mouth. She's into it. With the, wait, the after the, <laughs> wait, this nigga's worried he got her pieces. When did this happen, yesterday? No, I, I didn't know. <laughs> wait a minute, when did this shit happen, nigga? No, Tell the truth. I didn't get no herpes, dude. It was on, it was, uh... uh wait a minute, don't herpes. get defensive. Wait, wait. <laughs> Dirty dick motherfucker. Don't get, don't oh, get mad shit. at me, nigga. This guy's deluded. <laughs> wait He's a minute, really wait deluded. a minute, wait a second. Wait a second. He's not facing facts. See, your wife has herpes, is that what you're saying? He, no, he no, says... No, he says the girl, the extra girl, girl had herpes. The gave your wife herpes. Oh, no, no. Girls. Hold on, hold on, hold on, friend. hold on. Stop the presses. Stop, stop for a minute. Okay, let me let me explain. You tell me when I'm wrong. You're fucking I, a, a girl who you you find out hindsight 2020 wise has herpes after you and her and your wife had a little threesome. No, during. Dur you see, during. Well, ask him, but he, I think he said during the threesome he finds out she had a herpes breakout and that's why she didn't want any penetration. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What? Wait a minute. That doesn't even sound right. What during, a wait, during the fucking. No, she was eating a, his wife's oh. pussy. Oh, and oh, you wanted to fuck her, but she's like, no, I got herpes. Exactly. So then the threesome stopped, I hope. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Did you keep going, you filthy bastard? What That's an, an extreme. Yeah, I kept going. I kept going on the clean one. Oh, on his, on his wife. But did you? Didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you? Um, didn't did you, you see the herpes? What? What did it look like? <laughs> I, I didn't want to look. Kathleen, I'm gonna tell you he, something. He, this I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell. Wait a minute. Line. Stop, what? Smitty. Hold on, Kathleen. I'm telling you. I'm gonna fucking. Rem <laughs> I'm gonna put you on timeout. <laughs> if you if you ask another impertinent. Stupid question to what the yeah. fuck did it look like? I why you feel like you I know I'm gonna tell you what you're doing. You feel lying. like you need I think this Kathleen, no. are you drunk? No. Kathleen I'm not, No Shut up Why are you fucking like asking these type There's of questions? Something wrong with Let, this story. we're gonna dig Someone's it in. Someone's not telling the truth. Either what? it's this guy or Kathleen. one of these women. What's going on? That's why Kathleen I'm asking the question. Is what did the herpes look like? Yeah. Yeah. How would that get him to expose what the fuck is really going on? It could have been. All right, ready? Hey, dude, what did the herpes look like? Well, after. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, bullshit. I didn't freaking look. Right. It, it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody could have been lying, herpes, is what I'm getting yeah. at. What she difference? could be lying. Is if somebody at. says. I got herpes. She's you just assume that they do. It's not like just something you. She doesn't want the guy to. Okay. Kind of Hold on. Wait a second. This is how fucking retarded. This is what I. <laughs> all right. Listen. If you wanted to to be involved in something, right? But only a little bit. When you say, "Oh, you know, I'm on my period," if you just wanted to eat pussy and not get fucked, why would you, <laughs> you say, say I have, a I, dirty have pussy. I have age just of the pussy? <laughs> Do, well, do, do, does that make sense to you, Kathleen? Maybe that's not Would enough that be to have How? sex. And by the way, having sex on your period is the best time for a woman. Your hormones... Patrice, you got my point. Thank you very much. <sighs> Listen, yeah, folks, we've been, off, we've, been off, we've, been off, we've been off... We've been off... We've been off... Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Smitty. Listen, folks, we've been off for like, I don't even know, a month. When's the last time we was in this motherfucker? A month and some change. 
All right. We got to get a flow going again. We was going to get in a flow. I think Kathleen came in. I think um, I didn't hear that guy. I just p- got my ear. Look at she won't. She won't shut up. She when? she just won't shut up. Uh, Kathleen won't shut up today. Like she refuses to shut up. <clears throat> so she made a conscious decision. I'm telling you what happened with Kathleen. She made a conscious decision that she's gonna get in. Like she's gonna talk. She's not gonna be overrun by guys. Somebody got to you. Somebody got to you. Yeah, one of these stupid bitches that do comedy said that you're not talking no. enough. You read some message board that said something. You, you changed right now. But no, no, yeah, no. I, I see it because you, cause you won't shut up. I feel it. Yeah, I, I feel it. I'm telling you. Kathleen, you think you're not a girl, but you're a girl. I'm feeling you right I now because you won't shut the fuck up, and you keep saying shit that has nothing to do with nothing. Like, you, we're talking about this herpes guy. I've never heard a caller actually hang up on his own. Like, fuck it. Because you're going, you know, sex on your period, by the way, is meh. Who yeah. gives a fuck? <laughs> Listen to me. Let me direct you, Kathleen. You're, you're, you're very defiant, but I'm going to direct you on even how and when to talk about something that's pertinent. Telling, saying that you fucking like fucking on your period. Wait a minute. I see it on your face. You're not even listening right now. You're super duper defiant today. What happened? Did you did you got a new boyfriend? Did I, a new boyfriend give you some fucking confidence out there in the world? This guy was either lying. The girl was lying to him. The whole about, scenario about was about bullshit. What? The whole uh, herpes, his future wife, and but whatever. But why? It was all what bullshit. about what you were saying? What about about the wait, herpes? What, what about like what it? about what you were saying made any difference to finding that out? If she did have herpes, okay. he would notice it even before she took off her underwear. Okay, explain that. That's that's interesting. Okay, go ahead. Explain yeah. how how that happens. Yeah, I because it's it's look just look it up on the internet. Have no, 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 no. I'm not looking up it. fucking it's nothing on the internet. You tell us. I'm saying that I believe this girl was lying to okay. you. No, no, no. Just you stay, didn't wait, want to have stay sex on. with him. Yeah, okay. Right. Let me, I'm gonna let, hold on, time out. I'm going to let Dante handle this because this bitch is frustrating <laughs> me because Dante is really a good cop on, on, on a lot of shit. And she's frustrating because I know something's different about Kathleen. I'm going to find out the bitch is drunk or something. Something's going on with Kathleen. I'm, I'm going to get to the callers in a minute, man. Focus, okay, focus Kathleen, on the... Wait, wait, focus, wait. Hold I'm on. not talking to you. Kathleen. I refuse okay. to talk to you. Okay. I'm, I'm telling okay, you, the wait, guy wait, wait. pissed me wait, off. Okay. All I could hear was, he, oh, maybe Kathleen has herpes. You're an idiot, Smitty. Neither of these women like having sex with you. Kathleen, there's a, you just said... A, you just said he would know that she had herpes before. Yes, Why? he would be wait, able wait, to wait. see it. Where would he see it? How would he see it? On it's if she had her clothes off, which I assume Kathleen's she on did, timeout for half a half hour. hour. She didn't say he had it. How would she see? Could, could Ka- you? Kathleen's could on you timeout tell, for a half hour. Could have you, you ever seen herpes? You it, no, I've never really... seen herpes. I'm ask, That's why I'm asking you. Stop. It just ask the question. What would he have seen? That would let him know that she has herpes. What if she wasn't an undressed? What if she was just eating her eating his wife's pussy with her clothes on? How would she have known that okay, she had herpes? Fine. Maybe the woman had herpes, but I would assume that she would know that before she went in. If she had herpes, why would she enter into a threesome? Maybe she wanted to eat pussy. That's my point. I think she wanted to be with the woman and not right. with this guy. I don't know if you want to leave, Kathleen, but I'm gonna. I am banishing her from the room for about a half hour. A half hour. About a half hour. Just a half. It's for her to get her shit together. Just for her to take a deep breath, because something's going on with Kathleen, and she's evading questions, even simple questions. Like she's not focused. She's not focused. I, and I'm. A, I feel you. I feel you, Kathleen. I, I see you. I don't understand what you you find so. What what? I find that right now, right? You're yeah. so combative. I, I, I'm a professional at this shit. And I appreciate you being like like this. I don't want a quiet little. I, I like a fight. But I, I can tell right now you are so, like, on some shit that, that I'm not positively sure what it is, but you're not going to share it because, wait a minute, because, look at even before I finish, you're, you've distanced yourself from what's coming out of my mouth, and you're going to say something that has nothing to do with what I just said. You're going to do that. I, look at your face. Like, you make it, you're, you're disagreeing <laughs> with me, but you have no disagreement. Like, you're just being like that. What happened to you? Did you get raped over the weekend, bitch? Did something happen? 
No. Pat- what happened to you this weekend? I honestly what the think fuck that this guy, you? Smitty... This bitch is crazy. We have left Smitty. We're talking about you, bitch. We're talking about... Do you see what the fuck I'm telling... This is the shit... That. This Pat. is the shit bitches do. You know what, everybody? Don't get fucking frustrated. This is perfect. This is what you fucking do. You, okay, you Patrice. talk, you yap, and and then, and when you talking to your man, ladies, wait, wait, Kathleen, are you in control of this fucking talk button? Click her fucking talk button off, please. Thank you. This, this is what, ladies, this is what you fucking do. <laughs> this is what you fucking do. You get, and this is, and this is men's fault, fellas. You listen too. They, we get, they get into this mode, right, where shit comes out of their fucking mouth, and it makes no sense to nobody but them. But the fact. That we all these fucking years, man, that we let him yap like, bah, 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 bah. that's what she sounds like. This guy's going, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? And you know something else? There's some girl saying it too, listening to her. That's what your man's saying to you, bitch, when you talk about nothing and go, blah, 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 blah. Did we left Smitty 20 hours ago, and this bitch is still talking about sh- her point is to prove Schmidt. Nigga, the point is the herpes. What the fuck happened when she found out the herpes? That's the point. That's the point that every guy wants to hear. Every guy goes, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Up. You fucking bitches with herpes, nigga? <laughs> That's where we go, and you go, and then you go. I think she's lying about the per- per- periods. Like, why would periods come out? Now, this is, you You really, really, you're, you're sick. Who gives a fuck what I brought up, bitch? That, do you hear this? I'm talking to my girl right now. Do you see when I'm screaming at you what the fuck I'm screaming at? What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> Do you understand? That's the same shit my girl says. Like, you didn't hear Kathleen. She goes, you brought up herpes. What, bitch? Like, you don't have the skills to yeah. argue with me. You know why women don't have the skills to argue? Because you've never had to argue a point to get Logically. your point across. Logically and All you had to do concisely. was argue up until the point where a nigga was scared he wasn't going to get no pussy. You know what's Whatever funny? Whatever the point that is. Patrice, you know what's funny? That Vaughn is laughing at this. Because you know, Vaughn, but you know she sees, you know why Vaughn my girl's laughing? It. Sit at the fucking mic, Vaughn. Sit at the mic. Do you know why my girl's laughing? Do you know why she's fucking laughing at you? Because I scream at her like this every day, cause she, and she thinks I'm a bad guy when I do it. And it's, it's really because she's sick. Kathleen, you are a girl. Don't get frustrated. You're a girl. You think you're not, but you are a girl. And you and you say dumb. I've you said fifty dumb things in five minutes. And I'm trying. I'm just trying to get you in a in a. Cause she's the same way. My girl's the same way. She gets defiant. There's some ego in there, and that women have now that they get this defiant thing where they think where they think. That they are, they, listen, man, you're not better than us, ladies. Just understand this. <laughs> I'm going to say this right now. We're, We're better, than, better than, than you. You're better than what? We're both better than Smitty. You're both. This, We're not talking about Turn, turn Smitty, up my back on. Yeah. Ready, everybody? Drum roll, please. This is what she just said. What did you just say just now? You said no, no, no. You're you're not you're, better do than you hear? Do you we hear? Are both. No. We are both. No. Uh, turn, turn the mic off. I'm, I'm gonna teach you. I'm a, I, it's your mic's off. No one hears you. I'm gonna teach you. This is this is this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking teach you because this is what you need. What did you just say when I said men are better than you? We're both better than Smitty. You're both better than Smitty. Ready Speaking now? Speaking of Yvonne and whoa, whoa 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 whoa. Why are you better than Smitty? He's an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's yes, not man. a reason, Kathleen. You She's not going to is... get it, though. If, if it was me, if the argument was between us, she might be able to see it more clearly. But it's, it's easy yeah, to see it when you're, you're not You see it, it because you're... A, you're no, you, no, Vaughn, I mean, you're no. saying you see it because you're standing on the outside and, and I always more. see it when I'm standing on the outside uh, I love to watch it and that's funny. and that's that's, <laughs> that's really the point the point is that when you're involved in the argument your emotions block the logic and you're not seeing whatever. okay I, I will admit this that guy Smitty holy <laughs> fuck. Oh boy, turn the mic off turn the mic off <laughs> do you do you, you see about, and she's still talking about do you, the point is <laughs> not the point <laughs> that's me. 
I'm, <laughs> did you see the bitches? T- no one hears her. Point. And she's talking. Cat. Ka- 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 go ahead, go ahead, Kathleen. She, you, did you hear it? No one heard her out there. But I I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell the world what she just said. I said, no one hears you. She said, I don't care. Do you see the sickness? Do you see the fucking sickness? You know who says that? I don't care when they're sick. Smokers. When you go, hey, man, you're going to get cancer. Hey, man, I don't care. Hey, dude, don't eat that pie. When people say to me, don't eat that pie. I got diabetes. Ah, you know, I can just... You can die, you ah, die yeah, from nah, something. Nah, yeah, you got to die from something. So when <laughs> she has a, a, a fucking illness, right, and I go, you can't... No one can hear you right now because we touch... You, you turn your fucking mic off. She goes, I don't care. She is being defiant. Something happened within the month time. You know what happened? Somebody got to her because this is not Kathleen. This is what happens to bitches. They want guidance. Ladies, stop getting guidance from your dumb girlfriends. They don't fucking know shit. What do you know? You're not, you can't know shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't know shit because you've never needed to. All you have to do is walk around and have guys want to fuck you. That's it. What else did you do to learn how to fucking argue with me and make sense? She makes no sense. Here's what women do. They have a movie in their head. It's starring them. It's guest starring them. Directed it's by. It's directed by them. The you know boost. the only thing that they don't do in their movie? Edit the it. There's the no villain. editing. <laughs> There's no editing in the fucking movie. Oh, no. They play the villain because the villain will be me or the villain will be you. But they play you. This bitch over here will tell me what the fuck I said. She'll get up, right? Because her fucking... She'll just be in her own world. She'll get up and go to the bathroom or something. talking about my girl. And... And and then she, something will happen. I'll look down at her feet or something, and she'll go, "What? Oh, I know what you're gonna get ready to say. You get ready to say I need to lotion my back of my ankle." I said, "No, bitch. Maybe my eyes just went there. You insecure motherfucker." But but at the same time, see that it's that's a good place to be. I don't want her to get up and not give a fuck that I think her 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 ankles or uh or ashy or or her feet don't look good. I want her to feel like she she wants to appreciate the fact that I think she looks good and want her to look fucking good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, I went off on a tangent just now, but I fucking absolutely knew I did, and it made sense to the situation. Your tangent, no. I'm going to teach you that. I'm going to fucking teach you that. Look at you being mad and defiant. Look at you. It's the sickness coming up. It's the sickness. You're sick, Kathleen. I'm going to fix you. You're going to be great. You're going to be fantastic. Because this bitch, uh, my girl, I'm telling you, you look at her, right? Here's what you're doing. You'll look at her and go, how do you deal with that? This is every once in a while we have to go through this shit. We, me, and, me and my girlfriend have to go through me like going, what the fuck are you talking about? The other day I had to threaten, listen, I had to, I had to put our relationship up, up, up. Uh, I had to crap out. I had to go, look, you're getting so sick right now, right this minute, that we might need to not break up, but you might need to explore Mr. Another guy who's gonna like go. You're gorgeous every five minutes, or you're oh every. Five, I said find that guy, and as soon as you get Until ill, you call him a pussy. As, as, exactly. As soon as he lets you get sick and you don't respect him no you more, him and that's pussy. what the fuck is gonna happen. If I don't stay like this, you, if I let you right do what what you was getting ready to do on this radio show just now, like where where you was gonna be out of control. How the fuck can you, how would I ever get you in control? How would I ever go, hold on a second, Kathleen. I got to shock you. This is shock therapy, bitch. Now I have to turn your fucking (laughs) mic off. You understand? (laughs) Fuck. I can't believe, bitches just make me sick. And you make everybody (laughs) sick. Everybody. All right. Hold on. Let me talk to John. John, John's in my sensibility right now. (laughs) John, yeah, go ahead, man. Go to talk to me. How you doing, Patrice? What's up? I don't. Hey, I'm just right fucking here. upset. Go ahead. This right here. This is exactly why man ran off the process. Did you hear what she said when you first started talking about the threesome? She goes, "Well, well, what do you want me to do?" It's like every time you ask a woman, you know, you you got some fantasy or something like that. It's like they're so scared that you're going to look at them wrong tomorrow. It's like, no, I, I can't share my, I can't share how dirty I am. Well, well, what do you want? And it's just so fucking aggravating. It's like, you know, I I share my shit with you. Why can't you do the same thing? Exactly. You know, why can't now, you just let me open? ask you a question. That's awful. Let me ask you a question, though. Now, you got a wife, right? Yeah. Now, do you, do you fuck your wife like you love her or you fuck her like you hate her? 
I fuck her like I love her now. Before, it was like I hated her. Nigga, keep fucking her like you hate her. That's why she was into you. <laughs> That's why you suck, because you got that frustration on your that. breath, because you're not, you're not still. Sometimes you slip up. Sometimes I look at my girl with like this. With with a, with a, with, yeah, exactly. My, my eyes blink. <laughs> my eyes movie. blink slow. I don't want to, I don't want to do no Baby work. Sweetums. I, 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 I want to just pumpkin, cuddle up. Cuddle up. Bitch, and you know, and, but you got to fight back. your way through that, John, because I hear it on your voice. It's like, you know, where the frustration is you're too mm -hmm. you love her you love your woman too much to treat her like a whore which means you're being hypocritical you understand what i'm saying you need to rise yeah. above that shit because that's the shit that used to happen to us in high school what would happen to us in high school would be okay you try to there'll be a, a school whore okay and, and she'll fuck everybody and then you you would never make her. No one would make that girl her your, the girlfriend. They would always make you know Miss Sally whatever who 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 was known the to prude. be not the, the prude, prude would be the girlfriend. But you have to slay your fucking wife. The, the fact that she's a fucking a whore does not mean that she's not a good person. You know what I mean? My girl is a good girl. Wash dishes. You know, she even made me this horrible breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch can't cook. But, I but, tried. This bitch, you should have seen the bacon the bitch made it. I thought I was eating, I thought I was eating a, a, a shoe tongue, nigga. I mm, in a delicious. And then she goes, I forgot, I forgot the syrup for them. <laughs> she made some, she made, she made organic bread French toast and forgot the syrup. I I almost smacked it in the face with this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You remember uh, like one of your last shows, you were talking about the whole competition thing. You know, if you do something good, then you just walk away from it, you know? And she gets jealous because she did not get... To compete with you or feel like you know right. better that, than you. But 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 here's let me hey, let me. It works. If any if anybody out there doubts it, it does work. Absolutely. I mean, when it, it came to it, oral sex. It, she, it, she felt like the competition was on, and it got so much better when I just walked away. When it when you when you didn't expect her to give. When you didn't expect her to be selfless, you was just like, but that's the key to giving, man. Never give, never give with the with the idea that you're going to get something back. You eat her pussy because you a pussy eater. You eat her pussy. You know what you eat her pussy like? You eat her pussy like if if, if if it was removed from her body. <laughs> you, you would say, thank you so much, sweetie. I got your pussy in my hand, <laughs> and I don't need to talk to you no more. That's how you eat pussy. You eat it like you'll eat anybody's pussy like that. Because that's what their thing is. Oh, I'm special. You know what I mean? So when you do some yeah. things that make them, don't they don't feel special, then they're like, holy shit, they feel special. you like, that, then they start to understand that there's a fight. There's a fight for your tongue. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that your tongue is somewhere out there. Hey, I know it sounds weird as shit, but it's the truth. Absolutely. Thanks, I mean, John, for calling, man. Appreciate it. Marry the, marry the whores, too. Stop marrying the prudes. We have to encourage well, the filth. Do you you want to share? Yeah. What do you want to share? Share with your, your girl, your woman. All right. The, uh, my lady was a female stripper uh, when I met her. And, bad uh, motherfucker too. And She's so bad. I gotta look away because it's my nigga's wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's why at least. <laughs> at, oh, <but> <laughs> 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 That's, <laughs> That's why. That's why. Wait a minute. That's why I have to hang out with my girl because I, I think my girl is is there the same yeah, level of fineness. So it doesn't make me feel guilty if I look at Dante's girl <laughs> as long as I have. She has something to look at too that he might want to fuck. I am so bad as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Got to definitely curb you. Uh, but your wife was a your wife yeah. was a smoker, and nigga. And talking about threesomes, you got uh, to oh, son. Yeah. All right. Here's the cardinal rule for not uh, fucking up a threesome. Uh, mm -mm. No. You got to finish blaming your wife as a stripper. Uh, she's a Just a, and the context is, everybody out there, the context is that you 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 see a girl, you know, just talking to the girls or talking to the guys who still have these these utopian kind of ideas. Is that, oh, man, dude, you fucking married a stripper? Let me tell you something, man. Women's bodies are just not under your control. Your girl's body. You have to. You have to condition your mind to understand that your woman is. You have to look at your woman like a complete whore physically that will just fuck anything that moves. So that you. You have to. You know what you have to do? I picture my girl. I picture my girl fucking like two strangers in the street. And I mean, I really. 
imagine that she's doing it. I, re I imagine scenarios on how she's going to fuck somebody. I imagine scenarios on how she could. She works, in, you know, she works somewhere where she meets a lot of people. And I picture, I, I imagine her walking to the bathroom and sucking some guy's dick. I imagine it. And then it, it, your stomach knots up, and then you go, all right. You start to figure out a way to get through it so that you can function. Because even if she sucks a dick of, a, of some motherfucker, because my dick is not, look, man. I wish I had a bigger dick. She gives me the whole, uh, you know, oh, she gives me the perfect. whole, it's fine. <laughs> it's perfect. But I know that I missed the spot. Sure. I get the spot with the fingers, but I know I missed the spot with the dick. Quarter Just inch. a quarter inch. Well, you make up for it with your fist. Turn on turn my turn on my on. Hold on, hold on. An hold average on. size penis or a small one? Ask your question again. You wasn't on. You wasn't on. Ask it again. Does Patrice have an average size penis or a small one? What is an average size? Mm, like that. Like who you been fucking? <laughs> Small as hell. She, she, Light she, hell. Gave, she gave like a three inch dick. She, she gave, so a, what, she what gave what? a three inch dick, which means <laughs> I would fuck the shit out of Kathleen. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Ouch. Well, let's see it, how big. Like that, six that, inches. That like, well, up 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 pussy. It, but I think it's bigger yeah. than six inches. Well, Damn, that's bigger than three. Uh, like wide. Or thin, six inches wide. No, no. Is it a is wide? It, is it, is it, it, no, it's not fatty. wide. It's like, mm, it's not skinny, but it's not like, like a fist wide. Okay, now it's testicles. It's like, are they tight <laughs> up or do they though, hang? Yeah. Sometimes they're tight and sometimes they hang. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. But he's out. Well, you, look you can't. Look at it. Exactly. No, I, I exactly. can't say. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Look, every guy in this place is like, it, uh. how can you turn that conversation into like, huh? Like, after she goes, is it this wide or is it is it this wide? And then, then Kathleen will go, okay. <laughs> like, you know, like a guy would ask, what, they'll be, we would know why we were asking that. Like, if I said, yo, yo, is a pussy small? All women talk like that. All women. Turn, turn her off for a second. If she, it's like, if, if 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 we go, if a guy goes, yo, 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 pussy, yo, the pussy's wet. Yo, let's sloppy. have a conversation. We gonna have a conversation uh. about pussy, right? This is it. <clears throat> yo, yo, yeah. Was it, yo, was it, was it pussy? Was it small? Was it pussy small? Sloppy. It was like, wait, it was, wait, it was sloppy. Sloppy, like, sloppy. like it looked like somebody sneezed on it. Uh, so it was just creep, just creamy, just creamy. just wait, it, wait, like it was like that. It was like that on its own, right? On its own, you ate just it. talking. You just didn't talking. spit on it. Nothing. Was, I did spit on it, but it was, it like was snotty area. right out the gate. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, Filthy. Shit. I told her too. That's a look at you, sloppy, nasty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was it, how, how big was the lips? She was like she had a little curtains, little roast beef hanging. I like a little roast beef. Nigga, I don't like. I like roast beef too, nigga, but. I, like some bitches, they had that little line pussy. I hate yeah. a line where you don't see the clit. You know what I'm yes. saying? I like the little hanging. I like the little hanging. But like, I'm not like I'm my man. My man, like Bobby, don't like Bobby. Don't like a, a he don't like sneezy, the snotty pussy. I like a filthy pussy. All right, awful. Oh, I'm just dripping on the balls, and everything. Wait a minute, though. But was it tight on the inside, or was like it was? Just, I don't really like a tight pussy. You like it? I like a pussy with a little mileage on it. Well, my dick, I'm not packing that much, so I do like it to. Well, my girl's pussy just out. I think it's outgrown my dick. <laughs> <laughs> like a drunk dude's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did get a fist in there. Yeah. Fist but but in there, listen, I worked I worked hard to get a fist in there. I started at 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 two. But I, I fuck with them, with them fucking it, it's mitts a, you got. It's, the fuck I don't know how it did it. If there, are, if there are any doctors out there, please let me know. Am I doing something bad to my girl's pussy? <laughs> Cause it, I can get a fist in, not just like punch it in his hand, <laughs> but it has conditioned itself to be able to have it yeah. in there, and it's Ooh. just a, oh my god! And she was, she loves it too, which makes me know my dick is just doesn't have a chance. Cause, she, <laughs> cause my dick does, you know what my dick makes her, my dick. We we make love when my dick is in. <laughs> like that's the that's the break. <laughs> that's the break from my fingers is when my dick is in. She goes, oh, I love you. That's when she gets focused. <laughs> she focused when my dick is in. 
She's like, oh, I gotta pay a bill. Where my fish in this? She's like, I'll come for And then I put my, I put my dick in like when she's coming, and I take my fist out, stick my dick in, and she goes. Ah, uh, hand the me that water, water, please. <laughs> Listen, put my contact. Let me take my contact out. <laughs> my dick ain't shit. I really want a bigger dick. I do. Like, but it stay dick, hard for a long, long time. I, I'm good in the sack, but I think if God gave me one of those those fucking ridiculous dicks, I first of all, I just wouldn't need to have a personality. You know, because I have the kind of dick that you can pull out and show. Like, you can, you, like, you, like, bitches are fucking, you can go, hey, baby, you couldn't handle, because they, they, yeah. women are very, oh, they, whip it out. They, they're Ooh. exactly wow. statistical. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how little Kev gets his pussy. His dick is, it, it's, it's a man child. He's seven <laughs> inches tall. And, he, and the nigga's dick is, it's like, it's like the, the shade, the thing that the shades roll around when you pull the shade down, that stick. <laughs> It's like that when the shade is completely up, nigga. <laughs> like, it's the kind of dick that stops a room where everybody's like, ah, oh, yeah, let me tell you, let me say, let me say something to everybody here. And Kevin's dick can just come. His dick is like uh, symbols. Like, everybody's like, <laughs> like if everybody's <laughs> talking, he pulls his dick out. <laughs> My dick is the triangle. The nigga. <laughs> no, it's not. I, you know what? She loves me. So it's like, see, that's the no, but you that's can't be thing. into big, big, huge dicks all the time. That would be like getting a fist you, every single night. Did you hear that? Did yeah. you just hear how she destroyed gonna, my self esteem? No, it's not. Of course. I was gonna ask that though. I I know a couple of chicks that say they've dealt with dudes with huge monsters, and could not, and, and just was like broke right. up with them. What just kind of monster? Like, what kind of monster you got? My monster. Just, in, in terms of if my dick was a monster, it would be, <clears throat> it would be. Uh, <laughs> My dick is, in terms of the the, the monster, Eve, I would say my dick is the the mummy. Not the mummy? Even, the, maybe the mummy. The mummy? Just slow. It'll get there. <laughs> uh, a motherfucker, once he gets you, he, he like the mummy, once the nigga grabs you, he has to kind of use other shit, right, too. Right. That's why I'm the mummy. I would say I would have to, like, I go, eh, and I grab the bitch, and I got her, but I got to do a lot of other I w- shit. I would say I, I like, I, I'm like Freddy Krueger. Like... Why you're not packing that much either. Well, I still well, packing. Nine, nine. You're packing a nine? Nine. nine. You're packing a fucking nine? It's like a nine. nine. Are you bullshitting no. me? Tell the truth, dude. Like a nine. That's, That's brutal. No. <laughs> That's a giant dick, son. <laughs> dick. What? That's a giant dick. It's not a giant. Look, let me, like, what you packing, uh, Eric? No you have no idea what you're packing, Jesus. That Eric means is, three. <laughs> Eric is pack, Eric's packing the top of the microphone. Show, like me, a nine. This Show me a nine. Show me a nine. Show me a nine. Nine. That's not nine. That's like a fourteen. No. Oh my that's, god. That's that's fourteen. No, that's not a okay. That's how 14. how big do you think the fucking the napkin hold the thing that the napkin's wrapped around is? About the, a foot. That's, that's about a foot. 12, so take three inches off of that. That's your dick. Oh, well, I like that. That's uh, I don't I don't, don't want to give you a wait nine. wait wait right here that make me yeah, not be I'll your friend you. Dante can we do a train yeah. no you can't fuck Dante <laughs> no <laughs> no that's, no you can't do that's you can't fuck boy. Dante that's my that's my friend can't I was just playing because then I w- you ain't playing ho <laughs> <laughs> fuck you think I'm bitch <laughs> 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 is the dirtiest ever <laughs> hold on man let me take somebody Vaughn is two seconds from fucking my wife anyway that's why they can't hang out I know that's true huh. Patrice. Oh, they girls. I'm sorry. Oh. Patrice. Hold on, hold on. Let's get to a couple of bitches. I'm sorry. Tell my husband what I want, and it works. Ex-husband bailed out of a threesome. Wow. This Let's is see. a good one. Let's go. We're going to go. Wait, who was on longer? We're going to go with uh, Michelle, because she was on longer. But these, that's interesting. Michelle? Yeah. Michelle? Michelle? Pudding? Hey, bitch. <laughs> Michelle? Yes. Hey, go ahead. I'm sorry. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, man. I'm just I'm just <laughs> trying right. to condition these holes. You know, go ahead. You're hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, Putin. Go ahead. Well, <clears throat> I was involved in a threesome by my own choice mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. my ex-husband. Nice. He, well, time um, out. Time ex? out. Time out. Okay. Was it a train or was it a threesome? No, it was me and some other chick. Delicious. Okay, okay go ahead. Nice. And him. 
Kind of. Okay. 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 Oh, kind of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've been married like 11 years. For yeah. 12 years, something like that, and he said he kept, you know, always telling me that he wanted to have a threesome, and, you know, he's always wanted one, blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. we used to hang out at this coffee shop, and, and I recruited this chick to come to bed with us. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just barely legal. Did you, you know? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Just barely legal. Wait a minute. This might be a woman who actually deserves to be alive right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Now, how old are you? I'm 33. Wow. Oh, so you're you're close to retirement now. Are, now you are you hot? No fuck no. I ain't no fucking cougar. Are you hotish? Or are you hot? No. I'm hot enough. I make my man happy. Mm, you're sort of hot. All right. No no offense. We're trying to get a uh, we're trying to get, get a, a sense picture. of who the fuck you are. I just need a picture. Okay. So you're in Oklahoma. So like you got. Oh look. no, I wasn't at the time. I was in California. You was in, you were Cali. Did, wait, did you have yeah. aspirations to be an actress and all that? No, I was in Sacramento. Okay, Sacramento white girl wants to do it. Okay, 33 years old. You're 33 now. You, yeah, I was um, I was like 29 at the time. You was 29, so that's definitely you was still moving in, into the, still in the to the later years. Like 18 year old blonde, oh. nice curvy girl home for him. <laughs> oh, so a fa so a fat white girl. No, not fat. She just she just had some junk in her trunk and like <laughs> that. He was that's a fat all. bitch. Come on, stop playing, motherfucker. <laughs> stop playing with yourself. She had a she was a little dress size. She was dress no, size. she was fat. She was a little what, chunky. Well, you want a dress size on yeah, her? Yeah, get dress size. Yeah, yeah. like eight. Okay, she was she was chunky. Eight is not. Eight is yeah, right in the park. Eight. Well, ch ch eight is great for us. Eight I'm is suicide dude, for a white dude. dude. <laughs> that bad bitch. Eight is bitch don't no, eat, the bitch eat air and go throw up. <laughs> oh my god, I breathe too much eight air. I'm dying. Eight, eight, so nine, you got a I like nineteen. A 10, you got nine, a nineteen year old nine. chick. Okay, f fair enough. Oh no, she was eighteen. Oh, okay, delicious. She was eighteen oh. years old, and oh. I told him, I said, I've got Christina. Her name was Christina. I said, I, I've I've agreed to bring her home. Mm -hmm. When you get home from work, we're gonna do it. Okay. Said, okay. 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 Go ahead. So before, so before he got there, I got her liquored up, uh -huh. and I went down on her. Okay. Her crime. Okay. And I'd never been with a girl before, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, she was crawling at the back of my couch. Go ahead. Now, pretty much. Go ahead. Now I know what I like. I'm gonna so tell you. I'm gonna tell you what the fuck happened. Now, what 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 ultimately happened? Okay. So he comes home. We get naked. We're in the bedroom. We've been drinking a little bit. And he now we not. we is us or we is you and the girl. We is me and her. Okay. We we, we see what's going on. Okay. Happen. We get in the bedroom. We're all naked. You know. He plows his face between my legs and she's kissing me because you know she's only 18 years old. She's never done this crap before. I'm mm. filling up right now. And, <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I need me an 18 anyways, year old. So I was gonna, I was going to try to fuck Kathleen after the show, but <laughs> she too no, old. Bitch is 46. You know fuck it. Go ahead. Go with the 18 year old. Up a lot of your airtime, buddy. <laughs> oh, she fucking. She's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching her. Don't worry. I, I, oh, okay, I picked it up, good. Michelle. I'm focus, focus, focus. Yeah, go ahead, Michelle. I'm go ahead. To hear this story. Yeah, this oh, is that's a, that's cool. Anyway, um, anyway, he's he's doing his thing, and I didn't, you know, I nobody was given any rules. This we're gonna do this first, then we're gonna do this. Right. You just was into it. <clears throat> anyway, are you there? Yeah. yeah. yeah go ahead. Oh, okay. Anyway, he just gets up and he says, "No, he's paying attention to my dick." And he gets up and he leaves. Fair. Uh -huh. Well, that you, that was a self-explanatory uh, story. Yeah. That's he, he was jealous as a motherfucker. But yeah, here's jealousy you and the girl. Here's th here's three yeah, some much. here's three some rules number one. And I'll, I'll tell you this while you're on the phone. Three some rules num number one is that you're not. He felt inadequate. He he he, he was like, inadequate. It, well, that's uh, he felt. He and, ten second man. And let's be honest uh, here. Let's be honest, Michelle. You like that little you eighteen year old? You was into that eighteen year old. This story. See, here's how you being slick. You're not making yourself culpable for the situation. You were into the bitch. The party was on before he got there. Way more than you should have been. That motherfucker came in with his dick, and you went, "Oh, the <laughs> wham wham music came in." Cause she wanted to be. Now, me and my girl was in a couple of threesomes, and what you, what I tend to understand is, is this, is that you let two girls go at it, because eventually, unless they're a complete dick. dykes, yeah. they're gonna a grab on a dick. Yeah. And secondly, th hey, Michelle, thanks for calling, sweetie. Appreciate it. Um, no problem. Oh, keep listening. Oh, oh wait, wait, though. Yeah, I have ahead, to tell ahead. you. She went to the other room to go to bed, and he went there and tried to get it from her. Ye Later on that you night. You motherfucking. <laughs> I'm looking at Dante Nero on his fucking face right now. You're going to tell that story. Oh, my God. I'm glad you, you know said that at the end. Him? What? Wait, she told him, fuck you. You had your chance. Oh, my God. Wait, you are you know, still you with this guy? Out, you, exactly le you left him, didn't you? Him. You left him, huh? 
Yeah. 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 We this, do you we see? We, we parted ways. Fellas, do you see how important? Thank you. Thank, thank you, Michelle. You, do you see how important it is for you to, like, here's, here's something that you, you don't want. Here's, here's why, okay, if somebody says to my girl, I know a guy or two that she, she you know, but I knew, I, I didn't know her. So, you know, she do what the fuck she want to do before she know me, and I'm trying to put her in classes, you know, put her in school. Her. But she fucked a few guys. And if a guy came up to me trying to disrespect me, talking about, yeah, I fucked your girl, right? I wouldn't be like, you know, ooh, ooh, you fucked him. I would go, really? Now, let me ask you a question. Did you stick your tongue inside of her asshole, nigga? Did you do that? How about choke the shit out of her? <laughs> huh? How about that? How about, yeah, how, did you find that out, huh? Did you bite her tongue off or something? <laughs> Whatever I did last There's night. only, I just bit her tongue. Turn, damn, Dante. Whatever. Yeah. Somebody's phone. So, so, th- the thing is, that you gotta you gotta understand something. Where was I? Because I lost that fucking uh, stupid phone. Took me off. The, uh, the you were saying how you don't care that I fucked other people that you know, right? And what you would say to and, them. And the other part about him fucking the uh, girl, trying to fuck the girl after the threesome. I lost my train of thought. Who the fuck is paying attention to me? I'm all over the place. After the threesome, he went and tried to fuck the 18 year old. Yeah. Right, but that's I want you to tell that story. Uh, You're a fucking asshole. Yeah, no, whatever. You fucked it up, and you can fuck it up for all of us, too. Let oh, me tell you something. Well, it's my research. It's field research. <laughs> it's field research. And I can <laughs> pass it on. No, you know it fucked up. Wait a minute. I, I had to finish something about my girl fucking other guys. Oh, it, oh, here it is. It's the ego, fellas. You have to let go of your ego when it comes to this kind of situation. Do not... When your girl... If your girl wants to do a threesome, the, the, the main thing about a threesome, it's not you trying to fuck two girls. What it is is you're fucking your girl and there's another bitch that's doing shit. Yeah. It's almost like she... Like if you're fucking and your your dog jumps in the bed, you go, hey, get, get out off the bed. Like, it's a it's a dog that you want to lick your balls. You know what I mean? It's like uh, the, the threesome. The third party is ambiguous. It's, she, it's just exactly. a body. It's she, not it's a, a body. personality. Don't, it's not a... Even if it's two bitches that you don't know, you right. you pick one. That's the one that you're going to, like, be into. And then the other one, yeah. you, what you want is you always want to fuck the one that's not into it as much. You want to, like, the other one who's just a yeah, complete trooper, yeah. you let her be the fringe bitch because she don't give a fuck. But the other bitch, and, and I'm talking about if you fucking two, you meet two girls at a bar and you take them home. It's like you you want to fuck with the one that's kind of into it. Like, put it this way. If you met Kathleen and my girl at a bar, fuck Kathleen. Try to fuck her. <laughs> And my girl will go, oh, okay, there's a ball open. <laughs> there's a there's an open ball. Let me just, I'll just grab an open ball, nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm gonna, I'm getting to. Hold on, hey, Christina, stay on the line, okay, pumpkin puss. Don't go nowhere. But I want, I want Dante to tell this story real quick. All right, we're gonna take a, we gotta take a break, right? We're gonna talk. We're gonna take a quick break, but we're gonna come back with Christina. Do not go, and we're gonna get to. Uh, all, and we're gonna we're gonna rifle through calls. I promise. After we come back, after Dante's story, after Dante's why he the, the top no no of threesomes, the no no threesome shit, and and then we're gonna get to every call that we can. We're gonna rifle through calls. I promise. All right. So Jerry and fucking Jay and G. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll be back. Is it down? <laughs> Is it down now? Here. What y'all talk about? Uh. Well, you made me forget. Now I'm thinking about my curl. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, don't pull funny. that hard. I got Sorry. black people here. Sorry. <laughs> wait a minute. So wait a minute, baby. So wait a second. You uh, y'all was talking in the bathroom. You was trying to ease her, like you were trying to like tell her it's okay and stuff. Yeah. What'd you say to her? Oh, sorry. I well, she said. The, well, the first thing she said to me was, "I would just smack him if that was my boyfriend." Yeah, that, and I, that's something I, you I used told to her, say? "Yeah, that's exactly what I used to say." But play, play that song again, Danny. Why did you tell her? <laughs> yeah. But I did tell her that um, it's just the truth is painful. But once you get past the anger of it, what you learn a lot about yourself. I know, Danny. Oh, we're perfect. <laughs> what, oh, what truth God. is painful, Parker? Those type of arguments that you went, you two were having. Mm-hmm. Like, she couldn't see, like, the truth in it and where she was wrong because right. it was a lot of anger. And what did you do to try to coax it through? What did you say? I told her that once you get past the anger, you learn a lot about yourself. Mm-hmm. 
that I've learned a tremendous amount in the past four years that we've been together. Don't look at my girl, Dante. (laughs) Don't you dare look at her, you nine-inch dick nigga. Don't you ever look at my bitch like that. You drink that beer and you look straight ahead. You motherfuckers. All you motherfuckers. Look at that fat Patrice like, I think I can get his girl. You have no respect for me, nigga. Ah. So you, oh, so you. <laughs> you look out the window, nigga. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, so. I ain't gonna front. You about the only thing I worry about, though. You gotta sit. That's it. <laughs> And what he uh, said, no, what he means is I'm the only nigga he worries about. Enough. Yeah, getting my getting his woman, and, and and we that's why we keep each other close. Me and Dante. <laughs> Wait a minute, Danny. Oh man, I'd love just keep playing again. That was hot. <laughs> Do it again. I don't give a fuck. Mm. Don't we rewind? <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Mm. Now Kathleen. Now you said you came in there, right? When you came in, you was a little bit mid- like, right. You right. like how do you deal with that? I'm fucking slapping, right? Now when she said to you, when she said to you that hey, once you get past the the emotions of it and everything, right? What, yeah. Like what did you then feel after she kind of like said no? <sighs> it's, 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 he's not bad. What what, what did you kind of? No, no. We what, what most of what was said about you was was positive. Right, like, right. I said, I don't go for that type. I go for more of the Bill Gates type. She uh, said, right. been go, there, done that. Go for the safe. And I right. said that, you know, I like the bad boy type, but I've been there, done that with the good guy type, and that Patrice is the perfect right. balance in between the, the, balance the of bad two. guy that treats you like a princess. Yeah. And then I said, well, yeah. All right, stop the music. Uh, shit. <laughs> wait, but fuck. Our girl was getting my dick hard. Wait, wait, wait. Here comes Edward G. Robinson. <laughs> well, I got the Bell Gates type. <laughs> oh. Wait, on the way out. She, guess what the last thing she said was, though? Wait, 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 wait. But that Smitty guy pissed me off. <laughs> you still as mad at Smitty? <laughs> Why would you fucking mad at Smitty? Because he said she had AIDS. And, 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 oh, and yeah. in ten yeah. seconds, in ten seconds, why was you so fucking mad at Smitty? In a nutshell. Because why. he was trying to be funny by presuming I had herpes. That's what pissed her off. That he pissed said me she's off. She's probably oh, got herpes. Yeah, who maybe had, she wouldn't have. Yeah. But why would you be so mad at that? You don't even know that dude. Like he. Was, I don't know him. But why did that and hit I such don't a, Why did that hit such a nerve, dirty pussy? <laughs> Come on, Bumpy. Why? Cause she. That's why she wouldn't Gabby. tell you. That's why she wouldn't tell you what a herpes r- route break looks like. Cause she'd be like, like well, how, you still how, how, how you know crunch and munch pussy? <laughs> I, Patrice, I have never so much as had a yeast infection. Oh, shut never. up. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't getting fucked right. That's you right. had something going on. Yeah. Down. Somebody's tapping that Nothing. kidney. You gotta get a totally yeast infection. Totally clean. That means you just totally clean. You just uh, shut up. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you and your phoniness. I'm gonna get it out, Kathleen. Look at it. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna fucking get the truth out of your fucking old used up ass. All right, cut her mic off. We'll turn her back on when we get ready. All right. That's right. You like it, huh? Take it. Take it. All you can do is sit there and be upset, baby, and you're gonna like it. Then one day you'll come out the bathroom and tell somebody I'm a good guy that I'm cursing out. One day you'll give advice that I'm not a bad guy. And you got a nice And I give you what you need, not what you want. You think you want you want what you want, but you gotta get what you need. You know what I'm saying? Don't you wanna eat a fucking box of donuts every day? But you you can't. You can't. You want to, but you can't. Right? Sometimes a guy has to introduce what you can't do to your life. Okay? And right now you can't talk, bitch. Uh huh. So look at you, look at you. Yeah, take it. Keep looking at my girl, going, how do you deal with it? And the fact is, she's fucking keeps looking at my girl because she's like, I want to fuck his girl. She's so sexy. How does she deal with that? That's be, that's the reason. See, I catch him. This is when I catch bitches. It's hard to catch you when you're LeBron James, when you're young, you run fast, you jump high. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to give you advice. My bitch was LeBron James in her time. But at some point, she's getting a little Carl malone and she needs to fucking know. <laughs> she needs to know. Are you calling me old? You, you, you know. I'm 30. One. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> she's an old bitch. 30 is old. You know, what motherfucker, what top player is 31 in the game? 
You know what I mean? Malone. She was LeBron. LeBron, when he turns 31, he's going to be a little less effective. But if he gets the right coaching and has the right sensibility, change he'll, game. he'll change his game. Mm-hmm. And he'll be able to be happy and stay in the league a lot longer than, like, that bitch Michelle, she she fucking did something Bring that tried to keep him yeah. in the game. Yeah. And what he did, he still, he, he couldn't deal with it. Buckle. It was personal. It's like it's like what Cotton, Fitz, Tim, Cotton Fitz Simmons did to the Iceman. Iceman was the baddest motherfucker in the league. Yeah. Cotton Fitz Simmons said, I'm just going to control this nigga. I'm going to control him. And it's just like, you know what? You're so defined and so fucked up that you don't even know that you got a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what happened. Michelle's man just fucking, he was such a person who had an ego and was all fucked up. And that's it. He, 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 he asked for the three. He asked for the three. But you know that's what was? Crazy. It's the ego, fellas. Yeah. You have to get rid of that fucking ego that, that a bitch won't do what she wants to do. He got an ego because she fucking uh, uh, was in control. But it's women are in control of the fuck game anyway. But what we try to do is we try to convince them to relinquish a little bit of that control to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, we got to get them to, to to slightly, like, say, ooh, I, I want to give him pussy. I want to bring another bitch in. It's a mind thing. that We don't control their bodies, man. Women's whole essence, like, men's dicks are different from their mind and different from their heart. Separate. Separate, Separate entities. We just, we have three different things going on. Our mind, our heart, and our dick. Women have one thing going. It's all connected. It's all connected. So, you know, once a bitch can just decide, okay, I, I, I like him and I want to do for him, her, your, but the body's yours. That's why, that, see, he, that's why Kathleen, hold on, hold on, Dodger. I'm just going to explain why Kathleen looks at me and my girl and goes, I don't get it. Because she doesn't have any direction. She doesn't have an option on how to think differently. Kathleen is very in the box, very theoretical. But that's the reason I like her as a girl, because women are not that theoretical is that you don't meet a lot of women who are who are analytical that's why you that, that's why women are dumb that's why you never you never see any women <laughs> great women chess players name a woman chess player in the world that's why you never see great women generals that's why have you ever heard a nigga go hey man let's read a book let's talk about socrates aristotle uh nietzsche confucius and susan Ain't no fucking, ain't no philosopher bitches. When the fuck you ever see a bitch on a fortune cookie or a bitch? You know what I mean? Cause y'all think which a bitch, a a philosopher? What's her name? Iron Rand. Exactly. Who the fuck knows that? But you, Dante. She's a bad bitch though. What's her name? Ian Rand. Ian Rand. Yeah. Lesbian. Probably. 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 (laughs) (laughs) I never heard of her. I never heard of her. But but she's 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 good. Dante read a lot about this shit. But let's be honest. You got to name 85. You can name yeah, 85 yeah. philosopher guys. Oh, absolutely. And then you got to pull out some bitch that nobody. I'm talking about. And when I say. I, you First of all, nigga, when I say Aristotle, yeah. you can't say Ian Rand. <laughs> and I'm saying the bitch uh, version I gotta, I gotta, of Aristotle. I gotta, I gotta, she's she smoked. That's like here. the bitch version of Jerry Smith, the philosopher <laughs> in fucking Utah, nigga. That's what you. But that's the point. You got to yeah, dig. You, you got to dig, dig up some old you dig, obscure but shit. Yeah, All right. Women have only been uh, formally educated for the last hundred years. <laughs> Can you, you know? give her a mic? Go ahead, give her a mic. Go ahead. All right. She might have something to say. Go ahead. Go ahead, sweetie. Look yeah, at the frustration. That's, Look at that. I like it. That's what it's like. Turn the mic off. Turn the mic off. That's what it's supposed to be like. That's a relationship. You should be. That now she has a look at Kathleen now. The same frustration. When the mic is on, when the mic is on, she's a little nervous to talk, and she's getting a little like back and forth because she's not as comfortable opening her big fucking mouth. Now she better have something to say, or she's getting she's getting disciplined. All right, turn it back on. She gonna wanna fuck you by uh-huh. the end of the day. Uh-huh. <laughs> Your mic's all precious. Mind. Never, Never mind. mind. Look at yeah. she. Look how mad she is. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up. The sickness is coming up. She gonna pull a titty out soon. <laughs> I guarantee your pussy's getting wet. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, Kathleen. Oh, look at her. Look at the fuss. Look at that. That's what my girl used to do. When, when I used to go, blah, 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 and she'll go, she want to talk, and then finally I go, right, okay, talk. But she'd be so mad that, that how dare you let me talk that she can't even get her mind right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? What do you want? What's that? What you want to say? You have nothing. I have nothing there. You did. Patrice, nothing. Women have something 100 years. Yeah, I was listening. Yeah. What? Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Never mind. Never Anne mind. Ran wrote the Fountainhead. Read it. That's all. That's it. Objectivism. Hmm. 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 Interesting. All right. Cut her off. 
All right, <laughs> look at him. She's gonna start crying. So look at she's looking around. I like it, but it's good, sweetie. And don't you ever worry about not being. As long as Doctor Black Phillip is on, <laughs> as long as the Black Phillip shows on, you're on. Trust me. But I just have to get you right. Hey, my girl was you sick, coming in sick. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're sick. That's all. I'm just trying to give you some medicine. Medicine doesn't taste good. You ever taste delicious medicine? No. I'm just trying to heal you. You're a sick bitch. Yeah. Mm. Want to say something? Turn the mic on. Turn the mic. Look how my girl. Her mic has never had to be turned off. She can just talk anytime she wants. She's it's on. Is it on right now? Your mic on, sweetie? It's on. Oh, yeah. She just when she came on, when she was talking, everybody's dick got hard. You see anybody here trying to fuck my girl? I started to get up and smash a nigga in his head. She was telling a bathroom story, but she was just telling it, you know, yapping. Sometimes I still got to edit her. Today she was talking about, we rolled through the Holland Tunnel, and she saw that we can't, the Holland Tunnel says, no pennies, please. And she went on some tangent about, how can, see, pennies are currency, too. Why can't we have pennies? Blah, blah, blah. But you know what she did that she never did before? She went, her, her inner editor goes, I'm talking about? I'm talking about pennies, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with me? Somebody should kick me in my pussy right now for talking about pennies. And I go, good girl. And yep. we shared a moment. Yep. My bitch 100% actually true. said to herself, am I talking about pennies, nigga? First time. Fuck. 100% true. All right. Let me, I'm going to get to a couple of calls. I'm going to go to this chick first. And I, I apologize to Jerry. We're going to get to Jerry too, man. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, we're going to get to Jerry right this second. Hold up. My girlfriend, oh, man, this nigga been on an hour. Go ahead, man. Jerry? Hello? Yeah, man. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. Go ahead, man. Hey, it's our play, man, but it's Gary. It's with the... Oh, it's with a, no. it's a G? Oh, Ga okay, go ahead, Gary. Yeah, it's Jerry. It's go ahead. Take the R out. It sounds really gay. All right, it looks, g whatever. Go ahead, man. What do you think? Yeah. All right, man. I got, I got this. I got a little problem. I was hoping I could get some advice from the Patrice O'Neal there. Go ahead. I got me and my girl. We had a little situation there, and a little threesome may had something to do with it. I don't know. Threesome shit I today, oh. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's just a lot of threesome talk today. Go ahead. Yeah, there is a lot of threesome talk. Uh, I can't. I come home and uh, uh, it ain't looking too good, bro. I, uh, my spray painted all the shit. I got motherfucker keyed in the back of the other one. Uh, my fucking my computer's in the sheetrock. Wait, 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 uh, wait. Food. We lost you. Wait a second. Hold up. We uh, Slow down, man. Slow down. You're not going to get cut off. All right. What the fuck happened? What happened? You did a threesome, and then what happened? Well, no, man, you know what? i tell you the truth. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I mean, do what? What? No, right wait. Gary, say the, Gary, say we don't know what is. the fuck is going on. Like, what happened? I, I swear it sounds good. Sheet okay. rock and computers, okay. but you didn't tell the story. Go ahead. I, mean, I work offshore, partner. All right? Okay. Now, uh, like an oil rig way, thing. Yes, okay. oil rig thing. Okay. Right? All right. Now, uh, I come home one particular time, and uh, my girl, she wants to uh, go out, have a good time, right? We go out, <clears throat> and uh, we come into her uh, friend there, Tiffany. Okay. Who happens to uh, be a friend of her. Uh, all that shit doesn't matter. Anyways, we end up going back. They got fucked up, and she started going down on the girl, I guess, maybe to show off to me. You know, that she can spark out some lesbian love there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just uh, I'm kicking back, enjoying the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then we all get into it, right? Well, my girl, I guess, can't handle her liquor as much as the other one. when She passes out, you know? Mm -hmm. So what am I supposed to do? I hear what you're saying all together, man. You know? never going to have a threesome, you know, you're never going to be fucking another girl and then just switch off to your girl and shit like, you know, on the point, you're with your girl and right. the other girl is uh, kind of like, just like a fixture, like crown molding. Right, top okay, so your, your girlfriend passes out? My girlfriend passes and out, anyways, uh, I kind of uh, put me and the other girl in an odd situation, but... Oh, uh, boy, you I, fucked okay. the other girl, didn't you? Classic yeah, yeah, Gary, yeah, you yeah. fuck, you fucked... The other bit, and that's what this yes. asshole da Dante had. Da J Listen, man. That, what, what, okay, wait, man. I'm sorry. We gonna get into you, right, but you, you know where you fucked up, right? Yeah. Well, you see, I never fucked her after the fact. And you, we just yes, one particular same thing. Incident. But you, same but, thing. but you, you, out. you might as well had you. Do you? I mean, do you understand? Let's 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 make sure you understand how you fucked up. Do you have okay, any yes. sense of how you fucked up there? 
Well, I, I understand. Maybe I should have waited for my girl to get naked to completely understand. She was oh, you fucking, you goofy nigga. Your young girl passed out in her street clothes and you fucking son of a bitch. You wasn't, you wasn't even in fuck mode yet, you greedy fucker. <laughs> well, I mean, they were both drunk. They were uh, talking. Uh, for, uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I mean, all right. I'll ready? I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell you. Thanks, hey, listen, thanks for calling, Gary. I'm going to tell you. No, no, number one, one and that I learned. One. This is this is why I, my, like my girl, I'm very frustrated because we want to have threesomes, but I have the skills to get another bitch to want to fuck. Because my girl really is the bait. You know what I mean? She's the bait. It's like if a bitch is thinking about fucking another bitch, she'll fuck my girl. You know what I'm saying? So basically, she's the bait. But what my girl doesn't mind, whatever I do with another bitch. As long as she's coherent <laughs> and not passed and out I'm not too, with her clothes and, on, and, and, and I don't, it's not a, a developing relationship. Uh. That's why she wants the bitch to leave right away, like because it's still she's still your girl. Right, beat it. But that's yeah. what I'm learning. Like I, it frustrates me because she has no skills to get a bitch. Like she just goes, huh? like she she's learning the frustrations of a woman. Here's the like if you're trying to do threesomes out there, if that's your thing, and they, like if you and and you know the the like the unwritten rule is that your girl brings the other bitch, right? Yeah. Now what happens is she also she, initiates. The, she also initiates the action. She initiates the the action. I'm gonna let you roll cause right after this. I'm gonna let you roll because Dante is more of a pro at the threesome thing. But basically, she comes in. She she kicks it to the bitch. But what happens is here's the thing about women. If you if they're not lesbians, here's the thing about bisexual women who really want to fuck another girl, but she still likes dick. Sort of thing. Like she's sixty forty in favor of dick, but she'll put a girl in there. Is the frustration. Of pulling a bitch. That's what another woman gets fucked up on. She, my girl, gets frustrated because now she gets to see what assholes women are. Like, cause she's down. She's like, "Hey, other girl, let's just do it. Let's fuck my man." And the other girl's like, "I don't know." <laughs> so she don't have skills. She doesn't have skills or to, patience to, or patience to fucking coordinate frustration like men do which is why innately we hate you motherfuckers because you're never worth the trouble that we go through to fuck you but as we're trying to fuck you we hate your guts for what you're putting us through because it's easy for you to just fuck us do you understand why we don't like you do you get it I get it. Now she kind of <laughs> understands. My girl is sitting in the cut. She's watching Kathleen. I'm not directing her mind. She's just watching Kathleen, and she goes, this bitch is nuts because she sees it because I had to introduce <laughs> I had to introduce the option of fucking nuts. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I don't mean balls. Because, <laughs> <laughs> ugh. I, you, I, 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 and God bless the fact is, another thing. I, I've conditioned my mind to be able to, like, if she needs to fuck another dude, except for Dante, <laughs> I'll let her, I'll, I'll do a train on my girl, because if she needs it, but thank goodness we both hate balls. We went to, we went to a fucking, <laughs> we, we went to a, a swing joint, and just balls disgusting. <laughs> they fuck like I'm sitting there being yeah. like very cordial to the other motherfuckers bitch I'm very gentle I'm getting the other guys bitch into me on this level this nigga's jacking his dick over my girl's head this nigga's like I want, I'm gonna it's like I'm like can you, you have some fucking tax? stop <laughs> clawing my there, bitch please she's here air. nigga <laughs> this is not Dunkin Donuts we're in a swing club <laughs> slow up you have some etiquette find out what she likes this nigga's trying to knuckle a bitch right away ah, can you, and my girl is such a trooper she's like looking at me like honey help so I gotta be super rescue nigga at a swing club like hey dude hey uh alright uh listen can you not knuckle my girl's asshole dickhead I'm sitting there like like I'm massaging his bitch but that's the thing she gets frustrated with is that is that girls are so goofy but the fact is guys sweaty balls my dick don't get hard it makes me sick but if she needs it, I will do it, and I hope she doesn't need it. But if she goes, sweetie, I want to, I just want to suck your dick and have another guy fuck me. I'm about to go, all right, because I know I want to see some strange pussy, and she'll she'll oblige. You know what I'm saying? So here is Master Threesome guy right here. 
Well, look, well, Dante, keep because yeah. Dante's a genius with the with the threesome shit. But he did what stupid asshole did. I was twenty. At the so what, nigga? Right, nigga hey, no, don't start off with <laughs> an excuse. My 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 lady used to. She was into women. And she oh. was basically into women, but she was into Dante's me. Dante's wife is fucking super fine too. Don't don't forget that. And uh, she used to bring home chicks every every weekend, oh. like two chicks every weekend. And what did y'all used to do too, Dante? Well, I would I would cook breakfast. What was the what was the it'd fucking be like, it would be, it would be like <laughs> it'd be like four or five o'clock in the morning. Nice. I would cook breakfast. She would take the girl, put her. And would this the, be other stripper bitches? Stripper bitches, other bitches, just just your wife would just have game yeah, like that. She, she would game. just pull. Oh God, go ahead. Yeah, so she she would take the chick, put her in the bathtub and wash her. Oh boy, shave her and wash her and but, uh, just sponge her down and then and then what? and then. <laughs> My girl's such a piece of shit. She's I'm like, I'm I, ain't wash, guy. I ain't washing a bitch. <laughs> I'm a man when it comes. Well, to he, I think she did Fuck that. To, I think she did that to make she, sure the pussy was right. The, it sets the. Oh, well, can't. Uh, you tell your story. The pussy got to I mean, be right from jump right. for me. Well, yeah. Yeah. watch but that you, shit. You know. All right, go ahead, go ahead. So then, and then I would feed the chick. We feed her, and then we both like she would initiate. She would make out with the chick, and then go down on her, and then she then basically I would. <laughs> then you would come in with a crutch, nigga, <laughs> smack her back of the head. <laughs> then I would. Well, you build up to that. You know? <laughs> Goes up to the crutch. You don't crutch out the gate, and then I would, I would, I would fuck my lady, and mm. then, and then I would move over to the girl. Like maybe she ride me, and the girl would. Sit it was on my great, face. Right? Yeah, it was, it was great. Fantastic, it was fantastic. Well, what fucked that up, uh, then, <laughs> Reggie? Go ahead, nigga. It was this chick. Was was a, she was this? Uh, she was like a runway model, but she was hot. And the, the, I now let's be honest. Be honest. This yeah. may get to your wife's ears. I don't want it to cause no All trouble, right. but let's be honest. All right, the chick, was the chick hotter than your girl? She wasn't hotter, but the pussy was the bomb. Oh, the pussy was the, oh. the bomb. But it was sloppy, just oh. snotty. Just. Now you're not saying it was. You're not saying what I hope you're saying is that 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 chick beat beat your girl's pussy out. Yeah, yeah. possibly. Oh, oh, hey, is. look, bitch. Hey, it was. I will put a high heel through your throat. Well, look, <laughs> a 19 year old pussy got to beat your old twat out. Let's be honest here. So her bladder, her bladder's younger. <laughs> well, your fist been pounding my bladder. She's making an excuse for why I bladder's old. Now, <laughs> Nigga, you're the reason you made is, my bladder old, motherfucker. And this is, this is the point. This is the point why. This is why this is the number one no-no because of just her, her oh, action God. to that. To her response to the fact that I was feeling this other chick more right. is what it's about. And I went, I went and bagged the chick up afterwards. Like, I used to shoot, go to, I had a little side thing going on with the chick <gasps> after the threesome. You fucking started going out with the bitch. Yeah, she was my other girl. So would you say, what? would you say, would you say, now you know, here's how much I want to be honest to people. That you know that that's really just fucked up a lot of future threesomes, but at the same it's, time it's medicine. Yeah, fellas, it's the, it's don't the number be one greedy. no no. If you're if she's comfortable enough with bringing a chicken, understand that she's doing that with the prerequisite that this is not an emotional connection that you have with this chick. But you happen to bring in better pussy girl. Yeah, <laughs> oh you fucking Fire. ass. You got our trip to Brazil is out. Yeah. Oh, we going to Brazil too. By the way. <laughs> don't don't tell me about that shit. Don't say when. Don't tell me about that. I'm it's sorry. It. I got emotions. So that's why. <laughs> but that's why I'm telling Dante. Hey, why don't you and your girl come in the day? Nah, I can't. Yo, how can you go from every week getting ass? She's washing bitches to like. Yo, let's go. To, let's go to freaking. I was literally like, she was like, Daddy, can I bring her home? I was like, uh, Again, uh, I am gonna fucking. Every time I hear that story, I swear I wanted you out of the fucking pimp association <laughs> of America, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, it's field it? research oh, so that I can go. pass on the knowledge. We gotta, we're going to go to, uh, uh, shit, should we go? We just go to people who have been waiting, dude. Randy, no, no, we got to go to Christina. I'm sorry, Randy, Christina. Christina? Yes? Yeah, no. yeah. Sorry, baby, keep you holding so long. What's going on, Pumpkin? Um, well, it's, I wanted to talk to you about what you guys were talking about earlier. Turn, turn your radio down, too, Precious. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Um, I've been married for almost three years now. Okay. All right. And since my husband and I, since we were engaged and we started having sex and everything, mm -hmm. it's always been he tells me what he wants and I tell him exactly what I want. And okay. it, 
It's been perfect. No problems. We even swapped um, partners with my friend and his girlfriend at that time. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? We have a really great relationship when it comes to sex and everything. Because you do what? Do they swap? Because we tell each other exactly what we want. Oh, so like you're, he, you, you got what they say. He like, excuse me? You got what they say, an open, a open relationship. Completely open relationship. So you don't mind if he, wait, okay, ready? Here's the, here's the drum roll. You don't mind if he goes get side pussy outside of the house. If he lets me know about it, that's fine. Basically, it boils down to this thing. You're still possessive. Even though you're very open, it's still about... You, he can't get... What if he just wants some strange and don't want your dumb face in, in the room? I if, okay, ready? wouldn't. What if, he pull, uh, what if he brings a bitch home... And said, and it says, here she is. This is the bitch I will be fucking tonight. But sweetie, stay in the kitchen, would you? <laughs> well, he wouldn't do that now. <laughs> we See the girl coming out. Think... Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want. I, I wouldn't want him doing that in front of our kids. No, 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 no. Outside the kids. I, 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 don't, don't, don't try to do a Kathleen role. And <laughs> we know what you're trying to do. Keep it no, focused. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to him. I wouldn't who just... Gives the fuck the what, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? You're a different animal, pumpkin. The, po- the point is, it's, it's it's the emotional connection. That's like an that's alligator. What it is. That's like an alligator asking a slug, you know, <laughs> how come you didn't bite the motherfucker? <laughs> I did. It's like, yeah, you're not the teeth. same I don't thing. Teeth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so basically, I'm saying, if, if he, he goes... with another girl and said, I'm going to have, I'm gonna fuck her, can you stay downstairs? Yes, I want to fuck her without you. Okay. I don't believe it. No, yeah, because you, you, yeah, you, you, you yeah. Want me to put him on the phone. No, you uh, yeah, put this motherfucker on the phone. We're gonna ask him. We're gonna ask him. Put this nigga on the phone. Hello. Yo, how you doing? Listen, your sure, wife. Your wife. This, this is Patrice. Uh, we on a radio show right now. You don't mind, yeah. do you? Oh, was you listening? Yeah. Okay. We're listening. Listen. All right. Now let me ask you this. You f- say you want and be honest. Do have okay. you ever you guys you guys do the little swap thing you you little you, you she's little saying loose, that you're the swingers you do threesomes and things like that right yeah it's great it's it's fantastic but let me ask you <laughs> this be honest have you okay. ever wanted some strange outside of the threesome be honest what was the question have you ever <laughs> wanted some strange pussy have you ever wanted to fuck one of your threesome girls. Without your wife present. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> That silence was it. Now, t- <laughs> now, this and this is something we're gonna talk about one of these days is why guys need need strange pussy. I don't understand why, but she said I would never do that to you. Now, put put her back on the phone for me, would you? All right, hold on. Yeah, I want you back. Hello. He said that he has wanted as as great of a girl as you are. He said he uh-huh. still wants strange pussy without you. I know. Okay. Now, what? Yeah. Now, if if he's still coming on taking care of the kids and taking care of life and taking doing the right thing, why is it that he can't get a side piece of pussy without you? No, he can. I would just like to know. What if he didn't want you? I don't to know? want him just. I don't want him just call, coming home and saying, "Oh, I just fucked some girl and hey, I'm home now." What difference does it make? If he was, to, if he was to call me and say, "Listen, I'm here and this is what's going on," I'd be like, "Fine." That way, I right, know what, at least I know what's going on. All right, but oh, what? So you, I she, wanted, you just I wanted want the information. You, she wants what? the other girl to be put in check. She wants the she, other she girl want to hear. She wants the information yeah, calling. Oh, right. so you want you want to make sure honesty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so want, this girl might be you might, might be, be up for the, up for the award for best bitch in the world. No. So you're saying <laughs> I, I think it's some bullshit. Like my my girl both both she, women she are saying the other girl to know that her man is calling to get permission. She oh wait, wait, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you don't you're not gonna deal with this. Exactly. You're not gonna deal with this. Um, sweetie, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, fucking another. Uh, I'm fucking another chick. <laughs> It's no, nothing. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, there's a beer. Have a... Yeah, drink it up. We're having a good time. I'm, I'm going to... I'm just getting some side pussy, okay? Um, <laughs> if, he need, if he felt that he needed to whisper, but as long, as long as he let me know, then that's fine. If he's if he's letting you... If he's like... want to know. If he's like... If he's like... Bullshit. If he's like, sweetie. Uh, and you go, wait. Bullshit. And you go like this at the end of the conversation. I love you. And he goes... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no other reason. Yeah, I got to go. Is that okay? Yeah. 
She's lying her ass off. You lying your ass off. Stop playing. But you know what? At least, at She's least, at, exactly. I can't even deny. I can't deny that you are fucking. You you're better than eighty six percent of the bitches out there. Trust me. You, you're doing um, the best you can. You really are. I well, we really well. We like I said, we have a as it is, we have a really open relationship. He was aware when we started dating that one of my guy friends, his name was Mark. He's a year younger than me, and he had never been with a girl, ever. And he asked me flat out, if by graduation I have not had sex, mm -hmm. and we're talking about high school, I, and he's like, can I have sex with you? Oh, you are and I a said, fucking Fine. animal, bitch. And, God damn it. And I was with my, my, my husband at the time with my She's boyfriend, like, and I take told him flat out, I promised this prom night. that I would have sex. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Honey. Wait, you promised yeah. this nigga? Before again? prom night, I got to take care of something before we, uh, <laughs> uh we need a, uh, we need a listen. break. Uh, <laughs> if you see me getting out of a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a stretch, uh, a stretch Hummer 2, nigga, <laughs> with come on my cheek. <laughs> it's just something it I had just, to, I, I had was, to clear that up before, I was, uh. I was keeping a promise. So you fucked it. No, you, and he was, he was fully aware of it. He, he was actually in the other room when I did. And you sound like white girl hot, too. Like, you, you sound sound good looking like i don't know how to say that but does she sound a picture what do you look like i'm five four hispanic and italian okay. brown yeah, curly hair and hazel eyes nice. she oh. didn't say the weight though uh oh drum roll how, how weight how much you weigh I can tell you how much I weigh. Oh, uh, bad bitch. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. You was there. Baby girl, I'm still, still, still you are a trooper. I'm going to let you go, but God bless you. You know what? Uh, your husband has a real trooper, even though... Even even though I have a feeling that you you might be doing it Jesus. just to go, I'm gonna stay in the game. But you know what? She's How old are you? Will you tell your five, age? Five and a half. I'm 25. 25. She's she yeah. is developing a fadeaway jump shot. She feels she had two kids. She got probably got a little lasagna, some stretch marks because <laughs> of because of the and you and you like Hispanic and you know how you motherfuckers look. After you get After pregnant. After 12. So the, the, the Italian part is keeping you together, but the Hispanic, the Hispanic and After Italian 12, part are fighting. Finished. <laughs> so, 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 so 12 she and got, a half. She's she over there. She got tight titties and a hangy ass. It's kind of weird. Like, so, but you're a trooper, sweetie. Thanks for calling. See you later. Bye. Uh, bye bye, baby. Um, are we going to talk to this nigga? Because he's been on the. He's a psychopath. Uh, hour, Jesus, yeah. hour and Randy. A half. What's Press. up, man? Randy. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, you know you put her husband on the fucking spot, right? That yeah, poor pussy yeah. whip motherfucker. Well, you, you, she was standing in hey. the background, pointing at him, telling him, "Though you better say this." But he said that. But he was honest, he, yeah. and that's the thing you got to be, man. You got to understand where, well, yeah, she, where, yeah, and we have to teach. Honest. Hold on a second, though. But this is what <laughs> this is one of the things that men have to teach to people out there. We have to teach our women to understand that it is what it is. Yeah. Ha meaning, we have to teach them to like go, okay. Guys want to fuck other women. We have to get them to focus on the fact that we want to and then move on from there and stop getting mad at the fact that we want to. If you drop a motherfucking baby in the ocean and fucking Jaws eats your kid, you, you, you mad and you fucked up and you want to get, you, you get retribution uh, against that shark, well, but shark. it is what it is. Shark. Sharks eat anything that's in his face. So what you're dealing with, you got to understand the animal that we are, fellas. We have to introduce that to women. And the fact is, yes, I want to fuck other bitches. Let's deal with that in itself. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, Amen. outside of the threesome. <laughs> Say that again? Outside the of the threesome? Truth. Yes, bitch, I want to fuck up pussy out. outside of the threesome. <laughs> I don't want you there fucking up my groove every five seconds. <laughs> out, 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 out. I might want to do something you don't like. But but the fact is, not, hey, if I don't do it, wanting to do it is different uh, from doing it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear that. I'm, I'm, All right, I'm, well, anyway, go ahead, Randy. Uh, no, man, I know you speak the gospel truth, Patrice, and, uh, you know, that stuff that she was saying about being honest, well, what's the difference if he comes home and says, oh, honey, I just finished fucking a girl? He's being yeah, honest, right? Exactly. Because, uh, that's his... why she, and thank you, Randy, that's why that particular call, she was bullshitting a little bit, because right now, okay, when we're talking about animals, okay, when we're talking about animals, when you turn on the light, roaches gotta run. Mm. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? No matter, oh, yeah. no matter what you, you, you think you're doing, when you turn a light on, there's something in a roach that makes it run when the lights come on. You understand? So there's something 
it, ladies, no matter how cool you think you are with being a hoe and how cool you think you are, my girl is a trooper. I'm telling you. But she can't get past the that one part, which is another bitch outside of you. You understand what I'm saying? They can't yep. get past it. So that's why the girl in Connecticut was a little bit dishonest, because she couldn't get past that as she wants to be have some type of control over the issue that's why dante's all fucked up and his wife is she should be as secure as possible to know okay but at the same time man he she got mad and she was bringing bitches home and dante still got greedy it's something in us that we want to fuck strange man but and, and, and ladies you can't get mad at it let's try to figure it out let's get together and, and maybe, little dialogue. maybe that's our sickness. Maybe that's our sickness. Like I'm walking my girl I'm looking at my girl's ass like like shit. She got a nice ass. Nice pussy. You know, opens up as soon as I decide I wanna see it. And it ain't ain't too many better. And, it ain't and, 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 you know and, and, and then I look at I'll look at a, a short stubby Mexican maid that's walking past with a mop in her hand and go, mm. I don't. It's just the animal we are. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. It's not like I I, I fuck them, but I, I want to. And, and 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 don't don't be mad. Just help me through. Don't go. <laughs> don't go. I'm, make, I'm mad at that. Make me better. You know what I'm saying? Make me a better man. We are, um. Well, anyway, thanks for the call, Randy. Appreciate it, man. Okay, Patrice. All Hope right. See you see again. You thanks for listening, man. Uh, Jerry, what's up, man? Jerry, sorry. Hey. Dude. Yeah, hey, man. Go dude. ahead. Hey, I'm uh, married and I have a girlfriend. And and they both know. And they both yeah, they're living in the same house. Hold we, live, we all live together in the same house. Stop the precious uh, uh, niggas. Uh, uh, this niggas get a pimp card. Pimp, <laughs> pimp of the year. A <laughs> year. Maybe the month. I don't know if this gets yeah, you. are up for pimp of the month. All right, let's let's, let's go, go ahead, nigga. How did you pull this off? First of all, you live in Connecticut, right? Yeah. All right. The last caller. The the girl that the 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 half Mexican half Italian with the dude, they was from Connecticut too. So that's telling you something. Hey, tri-state area, <laughs> run up in Connecticut because they they all fucked up over there. You might be able to get some pussy and some other shit going on in Connecticut. I'm about to say. But go ahead, how'd you pull that off? Um, basically, my wife and I just wanted to have a threesome, and then uh, it stayed. She never left. My girlfriend never left. And wait, and that's what I try to tell my girl. What do, do they get along? Oh, yeah. Oh, see? Now, listen, baby. Hold on. But listen, though. <laughs> you always say you want a friend. <laughs> right? A lot of times, like, oh, sweetie, why don't you go out and get a friend or something? <laughs> what if we meet a bitch, and you really get along, and y'all are friends, and we fuck? What's wrong with that? This guy has it figured the fuck out, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. I'm speechless. I don't know. I'm not there yet. And maybe I'll graduate to that class. I'm not in that class yet. Well, how, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jerry. How'd you get this going? How, um, wait. Matter of fact. Okay. Wait a minute. We might not. Wait. We might be hasty giving him a pimp. Was this your wife's idea, nigga? No, it was my idea. You fucking wow. introduce. Hey, why don't we keep this bitch around? Yeah. Holy. All right. How shit. hot is your wife? She's hot. She's she got long blonde hair. They're, they're, they're as hot as each other, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, but what what was her first reaction when you said, and what did you say, first of all, and then what was her reaction? To, me, said, meaning to get to get this thing introduced to have a, a living girlfriend. What a, well, a we had all been working together at the same office, basically. Oh, so they were friends and we had first. all been hanging out. No. And I said, you know, I'm kind of getting a vibe, mm -hmm. and I think that we should have her join us mm. one night. So y'all already, you and your girl had already been all trooping cool. already. A little bit, yeah. Okay, wow. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, delicious. And one night, uh, she came over by herself, you know, without some of our other friends. And Now, uh, let me ask you, is your, is, your, is, your, is your girlfriend your wife's girlfriend? Like, are they, you know, do they get it get together when you're not around? Are they licking pussy and everything when you're not around as well? Um, not usually, no. But they will. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like this guy, Jerry. I like this guy. Mm. This guy, this is guy's a trooper, man. This guy's living the life. He's a yeah. polygamist. He's a. And then I then look then at this my bitch. <laughs> you a, you're a hoe. Look, what kind of? What kind of? The bitch that he's a, he's a polygamist with a hand on a fucking. What? what so what? He's a fucking animal. No, I'm saying he's not a pimp. It's his religion. It's see, not what? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, let me not disregard this. Hold on. 
Are you? And this is this this him. It this depends on your mic time. Uh oh. Is this your religion? My no. You did, hey, my religion. Turn the mic on. <laughs> no. You're on punishment, bitch. It started. See how sick she got? She was. She still. She still she fucked a, up a belt. She just had an outbreak of dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just had an outbreak. Of <laughs> That's was, okay. You know what it was? It was, my, it was my story. It was my story. That <laughs> she's doing good. Wait a minute, but her her doses have gone down <laughs> tremendously. You did good. But uh, Kathleen good. is super sick. <laughs> my girl's on punishment. You see, she did. They go stick and sick. If it, maybe it's his religion. You know why she said that? I'm gonna tell you why she said that. Cause. Because a trailer she saw of that movie, that the show three, on um Big on, on HBO. Big Love. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> See, you're on, the, you're on punishment now. All right, um, damn, dude, Jerry, you're a fucking trooper. I, there's nothing I can say to you but 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 kudos, See, Jerry, my friend. Put an application in for the pimp of the year. Yes, sir. I wish I could remember. And, and you know, Patrice, the other thing is all that stuff you were saying about going out and fucking other guys. Uh-huh. It's all I do all that too. They do all that too. You you know what? Out. This guy, you figured it out. You've learned how to... Now, what's the thing you... Now, here's... Now, here's... Okay, you can help me, Jerry. You can help me kind of bring this to, to, to light for the guys, okay? What have you done to condition your mind? First of all, what have you done to condition your mind to be able to deal with this? And two, um, when you... When you um, you're, I forgot what I was going to ask in a second. One is condition his mind. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> the, the second is... Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Well, anyway, how'd you condition your mind to be able to... Not be jealous. To not, not be to buckle jealous, to not buckle, and de- to not deal with that shit. How did you See? How did you condition yourself to be able to deal with your wife fucking other dudes? Oh, here it is. And you love your wife, right? Oh, absolutely. Th- that's what I want to ask. How do you... How was you able... And this is this is key. How was you able to cut cut the physical and say, okay, my wife is, is an animal, and then also look at her like... This is my wife, and I love her, and I want to take care of her. How did you separate that? How did that become oil and, and, and water for you? Well, basically, you know, I understand it's just sex, and we're all human beings, and we all need it. Mm. And me, I don't, I don't, you know, I mean, I love my wife, but if she wants to go fuck a guy, go fuck a guy. I'll be here when you, and if you want to go with him, go with him. I'm going to find some other bitch. This nigga here. Give him the- absolutely. Kathleen, Bravo. why aren't you clapping? Why aren't Clap you clapping, bitch? Jam, why? Mike. You're sick. <laughs> My girl ain't clapping either. Hey, man, Jerry, you are... Listen, call in every time I'm on, dude, just to let me know that there's a, there's troopers. And listen, first of all, we're, I'm having a little problem. Thanks for calling, dude. I'm having a little problem. Too many troopers are from Connecticut. <laughs> Where the fuck are the animals at? I wish I should could have got his girl on the phone. He might have just been lying and shit. Fuck. Next time, remind me, Jerry. Remind me I got you. that next time a guy is, if we give a guy too much qualified pimp kudos. Yeah. We have to fucking test it. All right. I, my girls look at me right in the face. Ah, Jerry, you motherfucker, call back, nigga. <laughs> if your girl, if your girl is there listening, call fucking back. I want to talk to that bitch and your girl. Fuck, son of a bitch. All right. Let me see. Uh, uh, how to keep girl trained? My wife suddenly changed the sex personality. Uh, I don't know. Well, oh, I like that. Take Eric. Eric in Boston, my hometown. Eric, what's up, man? Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. Go ahead. All right. Um, here need some advice, man. Um, I got this girl. She's you know freshman in college, real kind of innocent. Hasn't been you know corrupted by any guys yet. How, how old are you? I'm uh twenty. Okay, go ahead. And, um, yeah, and she's, you know, she's not a girly girl, you know. She never wears, you know, heels or doesn't right. need, she's one of the, She's one of the guys kind of thing going on, but she's, exactly, not, she's not a exactly. lesbian. Go ahead, you know. Exactly. Nice girl. Everything's great and everything. Then about a month ago, all of a sudden, she starts buying, you know, the heels and maybe the Prada perfume and the Coach handbag or whatever. And I'm like, all right. I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. She is making herself look even better for me. That's great. Then Wait know, a minute. Hey, hey, uh, Eric, Eric, dude, I swear, I swear to you, I am so sorry for keeping you holding but don't go nowhere, okay? I'm going to keep you on hold. I want you to finish your story, but I got to go to fucking Jerry. He got the two bitches on the line. Hold on. Now, is this the right thing to press hold mm-hmm. and then go to Jerry? I don't want to hang up on Eric. No. Okay, I'm going to Jerry. This motherfucker got her on the phone. Jerry! Hey, Patrice. You got both girls there. 
Yeah, we live together in the same house. <laughs> you and my dad right now. Fuck Pimp, this Pimp, nigga hooray. Hit, put him on the phone. Put your wife on the phone. You want my wife first? I yeah. want, yes. All right. Here's Holy here. shit. You're looking for <laughs> Look at Vaughn. Hey, how are you doing? Whoa, hold on, hold on. Now, you are the wife of this special man. Yes. All right. First of all, now, when you first started swinging, was you married or was you girlfriend and boyfriend? We are married. You were married when you started swinging? Yeah. Okay. So, at some point, did the sex get boring or you motherfuckers was just animals from the get-go? No, it just sounded like a really interesting idea. Had that been something that was floating in your mind for your entire, like... Your your sex career that you go, man, I wouldn't mind doing a threesome. No, I think he brought it up, and it just sounded he said it. That's fun. He said. And he just brought it up. Okay. This uh, how are you? How much are you into women? Oh, I'm bi. I like women. Uh, so you're 50-50 or 60-40? I'm like 60-40. You're 60-40 dick. Yeah. <clears throat> so you so you, you so you like you like dick, but you will. That's my girl kind of thing. She likes to fuck. But she kind of long. You only really like to fuck your boy, your man, really. Oh no, I'll do other guys. Oh god, you just bitches. She might have you beat, sweetie. You might be fired from this motherfucker. <laughs> you might have to be fired from this shit. We gonna we would y'all would y'all come down to the show one of these days? <laughs> I don't know if I can get him there. <laughs> oh, what, would, like right now, like on a Saturday, just like tonight, or, or I think the show might be Thursdays. But could you you think you come from Connecticut and come through so I could just look you in your eyes? Because you, I, I'm 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 having trouble believing this. So he said after you guys had the threesome the and you right? fucked your you fucked the, the, the girlfriend, right? Yeah. Yeah. When you fucked the girlfriend, it was just, was it like with the intentions that she was going to get the fuck up and get out, or? Well, not exactly. She's like a nice. It wasn't like, you know, we were, it was just like, it wasn't going to be like a one night stand kind of thing, but wow. it, it wasn't an issue like with weekend? the intention of it becoming, you know, a nine year relationship. Nine years. <laughs> You've been together for nine wow. years? Like, yeah. th how does this work? Please tell me how this works. It has its ups and downs. You just kind of okay. When does the when does the bitch jealousy come in? That's what we want to know. When oh, does well, jealousy? What moments? There, is, but... what, what moments make you jealous? Um. What? Lots of little things. Okay, you let me ask you this: You can talk yourself out of that. You know that are just, they're just stupid little things that you look at and go, "Well." How about when he fucks her without you present? No, not anymore. That doesn't bother you anymore. It used to. It it did in the beginning sometimes, but it it it's it, it's not a, an issue. And what did Jerry issue. say to you, right? What did Jerry say to you? Because I'm picturing what I would say to my girl. What did Jerry say to you when you did get jealous after he fucked her on the side, right? Damn, Dante, he might. He is. Holy shit, Mr. Jerry from Connecticut. So when when he would say to you, uh, "All right, baby, look, I fucked her upstairs without you." What did he say to keep you there? After he said, fuck you, I'm fucking her by myself. Are you still there? Yeah. yeah. What did he do to keep you when you went into a jealous kind of thing, whatever you went into? What did he do to say, what did he say to make you go, make you go, all right, okay, uh, all right. Basically, he just made sure he reassured me, you know. It was always, you know, I'm always here. You you always go to sleep next to me every night. I'll always be there. Do y'all all sleep in the same night. bed, too, or no? Y'all all do all three of y'all sleep in the same bed? Um, no, not normally. Sometimes on weekends. Oh, the bitch sleeps on the couch or her other room? No, or she has her own room. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, and what about when he goes to the bathroom and he takes a peek into her pussy? <laughs> <laughs> on the way, like say, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, say that, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> say you motherfuckers are spooning. This nigga gets up, goes to the bathroom, but he don't come back. He's in this bitch's room. <laughs> The room is two floors away. Our bedroom, our bathroom, and our bedroom are connected. Fuck that! He pisses and then walks upstairs! No. He doesn't do that. Sometimes he'd get up in the morning and go downstairs. He the, he, I'm, 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 I'm digging the woman out. Uh -huh. I'm digging it. Hey, listen, I love you motherfuckers, but the woman has got to be there. The animal's there. So, basically... He's making it easy for her. He's creating an environment so that she can still maintain... So, he's not that. fucking up. So, what right. he does is he knows what's going to make you freak kind out. of freak out and yeah. does not do that. He, he stays consistent with, that's, with that's what right. he does. So That's what right. is the context in which you guys start fucking, all three of you? What goes down? 
Do you want me to answer that? Yeah, you go ahead and answer that one. Uh, what a, well, basically, yeah, it's really like it's Jerry. a Saturday night or Friday night or Tuesday it's night, and we all want to start doing it. We just start doing it. You start doing it. So, yeah. so, so basically, you never go tiptoe up to second bitch's room and, and get a little side or or curl up with her. No. no. Well, every once in a while. But Sometimes, just... yeah, but most of the time, Patrice, you want to know the truth? The truth is my wife works at night, uh, so she works so. downstairs. I'll bang the girlfriend, and then the wife comes to bed, and then I bang her. Very good. You know what? Here's, here's why he's a pimp. I'll tell you why he's a pimp. Just keeping right them all now. happy. Hey, hey thank, yeah, thanks. Hey, that was genius call. Listen, give one of these niggas your number if you can ever, if you can ever hey, you talk to come through. Yeah. Um, no, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. She's I'm gonna not, tell you something. Here's the here's the game. He he has figured out how to treat that other. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> He's figured out how to treat the other bitch like the side bitch, and and she stay in that place. He put her up in the attic, like the flowers in the attic. He slips cookies under the door, <laughs> and she is a like the gimp. He got her in a fucking trunk. And he pulls her out when he needs her. That is fucking genius, Jerry. You are a super genius, motherfucker. Get his number. Well, how much time we got left, dude? About two minutes. About two minutes? Oh, shit. Nice kid, Eric. Listen, I'm apologize to Matt. I'm apologize to fucking, uh, who is it, Mike? Eric, Eric ah, was the man. one that started telling the story. And Eric, Eric, nigga, we only got a little bit of time left. I apologize. Call back next week. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Call back next show, whatever. I'm glad you niggas hung on. Everybody hang up because I ain't talking to nobody else. Fuck them. I'm going to talk to you motherfuckers <laughs> next week or whenever the fuck we coming back. You know, you know this shit is inconsistent. <laughs> we may be back. We may not. Today, Kathleen, we had to put Kathleen on punishment a little bit. She might be worried. She might not come back. She might even try to get a drop of dignity and say, I'm not coming back to get abused. But she'll be back. What else you doing, bitch? Nothing. You'll be back because you want to figure out how to not be abused because you it's, it's intriguing to you. You keep looking at my girl. She wants to tongue my girl so bad. I, and I won't let it happen, bitch. How about that? Turn on my, turn on my back on, Eric. Fine. Turn my girl's mic back That's on, too. Fine. Now, it's fine. not fine. Look at how you keep looking at her. You want my girl, you Kathleen, dirty bastard. Kathleen, you want to kiss? No. Sweetie, no, give her a kiss. I'm sorry. Would you? I don't want to get hit like I'm a man. My Look neck hurts. Oh, okay, that's no. true. Yeah, I, what happened? <laughs> no. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Never mind. We're on radio. Talk, baby. Look at it all uneasy now. No, she I mean, she just, she's recovering from a broken nap. I don't want to <laughs> make out with her. <laughs> and it wasn't me, by the way. I didn't break the picture. Okay, <laughs> I didn't say you did. You got any place you're you going to be? Any comedy you want to flow? I, yeah, Stand Up New York, Saturday the 29th, 8 and 10 show. Next next, next week, Saturday. Stand Up New York is right. on 70. This 20, is New York. Is is on 78, 78, 78 and Broadway. 78 Broadway. Kathleen, right, Kathleen Roll will be at Stamp York, and you'll be there too, right? And Dante, Dante, Dante will be there, man. I got Absolutely. shows. The nigga, what's the name? Old sissy wanted me to do it too, but I had to do something else. You know what I mean? But Kathleen Dante will be down at Stamp <laughs> New York uh, next week, uh, 78 and Broadway. And my girl will be with me. Um, <laughs> bitch will be in my car. <laughs> the bitch will be in the side of my car. And, uh, I don't know. I don't want to tell you where she works. And uh, hopefully I'll be back. But just listen out to when the show will be back on. All right. Thanks for listening. Take care.